Slim Bar, Chicken Shame, Retro AK and a whole bunch of other AKAs. The Sobering Podcast, Season 6, Episode 14. Or 15, Kito? Is it 16? 16. Oh! Yeah, 16. Damn, y'all Some... on the roll, man. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> y'all yeah. on the roll. I appreciate you. Nah, we that's, somewhere. that's right. That's what I'm talking about. We somewhere out there. Yo, yeah. yes, it's Big Fred, a.k.a. Kruger National Park Binoculars, because uh, I peep game. Damn, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I was about to throw the mic down. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Jeez. Give <laughs> 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 to my fits. <laughs> and we got a mega special guest. Super yep. spe- I mean, yes, you sir. see what's going on. I mean, you see it. <laughs> you see what's you see going it. on, yes, man. It's a, it's a super hot one. You know, man. Super, super hot. Very prolific. One of the hardest working artists we have this side. Yep, damn. Man, ah, man, like a vocal maverick, yep. harmony Jeez. lord. You yep. know what I mean? Jeez. Damn near therapeutic when you listen to this man's yep. melodies, man. You yep. know? I appreciate Yo, that. welcome to the show, Flame, man. Uh-huh. Thank you very much for having me. You got the blues? Yeah, we don't have to hear full story. <laughs> I can't hear, I can't hear it though. It's going wild. It's going wild. Damn, he's hearing it alone. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have our headphones, but it's all hey. good. We trust him. He's he's, yes, he's the greatest man. How are you feeling, dog? Man, I'm feeling great. I'm actually beyond great. The fact that I'm with you guys right now is like, yo, yeah, let's get to it. Yo, man, yeah. yo, man. <laughs> Happy man, when, when people were like, "Yo, this man must come on the show," we were like, "Yeah, hey, he been asking." And then, I was, I've been. I, I actually, I was telling uh, bro right now outside. I'm like, "Yo, I actually went onto my because uh, I have a WhatsApp group chat with my fans." So I was like, "Yo, go spam these guys and tell them, yo, I need to." Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yo, you got to be dope, though. Just be yeah. dope. Yeah. 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 Just got to be yo. That's you know, a pretty quick cool time. Yeah. 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 Be hot and you go make it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, man. Dope, yeah. man. So, man, I don't know. Like, I mean, I think um, because um, you've had such a... It's actually, in terms of rap uh, years, you know, you, you've uh-huh. really had a lengthy career because yeah. because people don't, don't, don't really... If you get over the three-year mark, then you've... Yo, you've really... You've really done it. And you're you, damn near OG. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> like they, I'm damn. sure there are kids right yeah. now that do look at you like like OG and probably yeah, ask yeah. you for advice and everything for uh, you know, in that in that in that realm. Yeah. You know, but like um I think uh, I was exposed to you around I mean, we were all exposed to you through the label, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like um That's twenty sixteen, bro. That's twenty yeah. sixteen. That's six years ago. That's six years ago. That's six years ago. That's a long time. That's a long time in music years. years, bro. What? <laughs> you know, cause you know in math when you round off to the nearest ten. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. 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 you're about to, you're almost yeah. gonna hit a decade, bro. Every year fills out my first, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. Honestly that's speaking. Dope, though. That's, yeah. Dope. that's dope. That's a good way to approach yeah. this. Yeah. Sheesh. So exposed to you in twenty sixteen through through ambitious. Yes, sir. Um I think uh, I think uh, first and foremost, what I'd like to know is how did you get to that point initially? Anyway, so crazy enough, I feel like that was God doing His thing, really, because I hit them guys up literally on Christmas Eve in 2015, and then they hit me back on Christmas. So I had just came back from church and all that, and then I get home. I I don't know if something was like, yo, just check your email. And the first thing I see was ambitious. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. So they're like, yo, uh, please give us your contact details. And I just put my number. And literally the following day, I got a call from uh, Horsey himself. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, my G. The first thing he has is like, yo, are you sure you're 16 years old? I'm like, hell yeah. He's like, I'm like, why are you asking that? He's like, nah, your voice is too crazy mm-hmm. for a 16-year-old. And then just from there, everything just started taking off. What, what did you send them? What was in the mail that mm. you sent to Ambitious? Um, I'm not sure if y'all know the song uh, Shots to the Brain, the one that has MT on it. I know that joint. You know I that joint? Yes, yeah, sir. So it. I actually sent my original version, which was me uh, alone on that song. And that was actually the first song I recorded that I didn't write down. So I was like, yo, I, lo- I just love, I don't know, that song just has something about it that just made me feel like out of every other song I made at the time, yeah. that was the greatest song I had. And I just believed in it so much that it ended up just landing me there. So I sent that song in and automatically that dude was like, yo, I don't need to hear more of your stuff. I'm convinced. Damn, and then, that's yeah. fire. 
I linked up with them January properly in 2016. That was the day before schools opened, so I didn't even get to go to school. And So you were, what, grade really? 11? Yeah. yeah, I was in grade 11 at the yeah. time. Yeah, and then I missed school. The first two days of school, I didn't make it. Got back there, and then um, what happened was... Um, what happened, really? Oh, so I, I just felt like I wasn't really into school no more. <laughs> I can yeah. imagine. I can At imagine. At that point, no. like, you know, I tried. I was, I'm not going to say I wasn't an A student. I was a very great kid in school. Yeah. But at the at that time, I was just like, yo, I'm not. But also, I was dealing with a lot of personal stuff at home. Like, just me going back home and seeing my mom just, you know, being frustrated and stressing about what we, you know, what's next for us and what's going to happen sure. from there on out was just not sitting well with me. Sure. So I was like, yo, let me see how far I can take this and let's see if it's going to work. If it doesn't, at least I tried. Yeah. Yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah. So when you lean into that, like, so what was the situation situation at home? My mom has actually been so supportive, crazy enough. I remember when I was about to go start doing grade nine, she literally asked me if I want to go to school or just focus on music. But, you know, my dumb ass was like, let me go to school. I don't know about so, dumb ass. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean when I say that. So, yeah, and then... Literally, that's the same conversation we had because uh, when I was doing grade 11, I started bunking school just to be in studio. So one time, she caught me coming back from studio <laughs> earlier than I was supposed to be from school <laughs> in my uniform. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I, she was catching the taxi. I was getting off. You feel me? So it was just oh, like, oh, awkward. Oh, oh, so oh, you, oh, oh, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, damn, I know it's getting hot when I get, when she come back <laughs> home. Yeah. So I remember I even went back home late that night thinking, you know what? Let me just make sure she's sleeping so I don't get my <laughs> yeah. ass beat. <laughs> and then, yeah, I found her waiting for me. We just sat down, we spoke, and she was like, yo, I asked you this back in, in, in like, a few years back, and, yo, you said you wanted to go to school, and now you just wasted my money for nothing. So mm. I'm going to let you do what you love and just make sure you do it to the fullest. You know, that's shout-out. Oh, that's yeah. dope. Yo. That's dope. That's that's, that's dope, crazy, man. man. That's, that's how like it a, literally yeah. happened. Cause I mean, we trapped in the. I mean, I'm trapped in the old school thinking. Me, I'm a school advocate, man. I'm always on some yo. Mm. <laughs> My mom is very is very old school as well. But I feel like with her being the person she is, is how she grew up as well with her parents. Mm. So she kind of didn't want to be the parent her parents were to her. So she mm. always wanted us as her kids to be ourselves to the fullest. Yeah, so it's like, that's what I love about raise my the mom. kid you got. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. She's like yo. I'm obviously going to want you to go to school, but I'm not going to stop you from yeah. being what you want to be. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's fire, though. That's, that's dope, fire. Man. I respect that. I respect so, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I got her for life. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. So you have other siblings. Yeah, I got other siblings. So I got when you dropping out of school, what are they saying? They were little, bro. Like, oh. they were very little. So they didn't understand. Because now I was like, I was the oldest in the house. So I felt like all the responsibilities were on me. You mm. know what I mean? And especially at the time, because my dad wasn't working as well. So I just felt like, yo, man, I just need to do something about something. Because also I just was like, yo, it doesn't matter if I drop out of school. If I'm doing something right, then the rest of these three will understand that at least I'm doing something they could look up to yeah. instead of just looking at me like, oh, our brother is just that guy that's just doing some dumb shit. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And how was the conversation with Pops about that? Nah, at first, you know, me and my Pops are not cool. I'm not even going to lie and say, you know, we had to work our relationship, really, mm. because also, like, he's like my stepdad, so... I always had this thing of, you know, yo, you're not my dad. You're not mm -hmm. going to tell me nothing. But I kind of realized that it's also fucking with my mom. And that's one person I hold dearly to my heart. Mm -hmm. So I try to work things out and just have balance between me and him. So we good. And crazy enough, we actually share a birthday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. But we, we good out, now. Yeah, everything is, is yeah. chilled. Because, yeah, at first, I think the one thing that made me not really gravitate towards him that much was the fact that he didn't believe in my music as much as my mom uh, did. Yeah. So he kind of started, you know, easing 
you know, being easy to it after he started seeing some money come in and he was like, okay, I see where he's at with of it. Of course. Because he used to force me about, yo, you got to go to school, nigga. You got to... Yeah. And I was like, yo, bro, I really don't have to. Like, I'm already in the house with you guys and I'm bringing in money every week. So, yeah, what's, what's the, the problem? point? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, man. So now you, you, you're getting into um, the, the, the life now because yes, it's like, yo, you really... Skipped like so many stages that like people would go through. But even before that, like, what is the experience <laughs> like when you come into ambitious? Yeah, that's what it's, I'm saying. Um, yeah, what I'm talking about is like I've always been like a very reserved and quiet kid, really. Yeah. So I never really, you know, I was always observant. Okay. I never really put myself in front of things. Yeah. I always wanted to learn and soak up anything I could soak up that could work for me. So. That's how I've been and ambitious. I was just like in the back, yeah. watching everybody that's doing it, do it. So I know, okay, when I'm ready to go out and do my thing, I know how to do it. Yeah. Now. yeah. So it's that's great. what I, I appreciate ambitious for. We had space and room to grow as artists. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So like, what made ambitious the target though? Like, you, you're you watching and then you're saying, or was it a shotgun approach? Are you hitting up multiple labels? No. Or this is the target that like you're seeing, okay, cool. This is where I want to be at. And if that's the case, what made that place so desirable to you? That's a great question because I never actually got this question asked before. Mm -hmm. But the answer is actually crazier. So I actually wanted to go to Ambitious because I heard Reese. Oh. <laughs> that's the only reason why I wanted yeah. to be at Ambitious. Like, I never wanted to be at signed to any label really or anything like that I just felt like you know if your music is good enough it will make its way out there it's just a matter of timing it doesn't matter how long it takes yeah, 100%, yeah. so I was like yo so I just heard Reese and I remember it was a Sunday I was coming back from church they had just dropped could it and I'm like, damn, this nigga 18 and he's going this hard. I'm yeah. like, hell nah. <laughs> if this nigga could do it, I definitely can too. So, yeah, I, he was like my biggest inspiration at the time to even want to be close to him. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can you imagine mentally? So then you, you end up in the same vicinity, in the same Definitely. camp. In the same camp. Yes, like you, as, as your inspiration. I'm yes, not And you're watching your inspiration yes, work as well. Yes, sir. You're what working did, with your yes, inspiration. Sir. Even, what did that even do like how you? we ended up making songs, it wasn't a thing of we planned it. Like I always just liked watching these guys, yeah. all of them, you know? Like, I mean, I was always inspired by MT, but but it wasn't as strong as how it was when I heard Reese for the first time. So yeah. it's like, yo, I think with Reese also because he was dead young. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. easier for, for, for any other young nigga yeah. to relate to yeah. him. So it was like, yo, okay, this guy's doing what the rest of us want to do. So yeah. why wouldn't we want to like follow what of he's course. doing right now? So yeah. yeah well, damn. So what, what did that do for you? Like getting into that space then? Like I said, uh, it, it helped me grow as an artist because I got to learn a lot of things. At first, I was just like a traditional rapper, you know what I mean? So now I kind of understood how to go about writing and making a song that makes sense. And Because I remember the, uh, the first thing um, Jose told me was like, we'll never release your music until it has depth in it. So I had to literally find myself and understand yo, what that yo, was. Yo, we don't get this part of ambitious, you know? Yeah, like people I mean, complain, complain, but like, I like that I mean, part. I mean, that's the thing. Everybody's going to want to paint out the bad side. But yeah. for me, I'm just like a positive person. I always want to move with like the good stuff. Like, Love it. I mean, that's the reason why we lift the bad, the bad stuff. But I was like, yo, it still shaped me to being who I am today. Yeah. So we learned a lot and also like we were all united mm. we were literally one so it was literally like brother sister everything that was happening in there so it was like a great experience being out there and mm. just learning and I think the one person I learned a lot from was Java though mm. Java was the one person that I learned because I spent like literally most of my time with him because I stayed in the studio he stayed there because his room was like literally in the back of the studio mm. so it was literally me so were you living like it I was, I was sleeping inside the studio, bro. Like, so, yeah, but I enjoyed every second of being there. I'm not going to lie and say, you know, it wasn't nice. There was times where I felt like, okay, we, we deserve better, but <laughs> I can't complain, bro. Yeah. Like, I really, I just left because I didn't want to 
see the the bad outcome because it was close to getting fucked up. Yeah. So I was like, yo, I don't want to get caught up in that fire. Let me just exclude myself from it. Damn. Did you so. leave before Aries? Nah, I left with this, him at the same oh, time because we were sitting down together and having that conversation. Mm. So it was like a whole lot of things that we were talking about and certain things that were coming up. And we're like, okay, we do love this label, but the things that are coming from it are just not good for us. Yeah. And it's it's going to fuck us up in the end. And, you know, mm. we don't want to go through that as young niggas too. So we just decided, yo, man, it's good for us to just leave. At the end of the day, I feel like we, we, we have enough people that fuck with us to get us whoever we need to go to. And as long as we stay loyal to them... They'll always be loyal to us. And like life is always, you know, a learning curve. Yeah. So there's always room for, for growth, bro. So that's how we looked at it. We never even stressed about, yo, who's going to have your shit on radio? Who's going to have mm -hmm. your shit on? We're like, yo, the people are fucking with us on the internet. Let's fuck up the internet. Everybody else going to pay attention because yeah. everyone that's on the internet is in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's what you're looking at. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, a lot of times these days we sort of like separate the internet from the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as that's if it's not people on the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's the thing. That's how we looked at it. We we're like, as long as we good on the internet, that means we good on the ground. Yeah, yeah. That's good, and that's that's really true. The fact that you guys believed in the people, I mean, for both of you guys, it shows to this day. You know, the fact that you could go into a chat and be like, yo, do this. And, and it was happened, done, yeah. You know, and also you look at Aries, like whenever he performs and whatever, like yeah. I feel like you guys believing in people like that, it paid off. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? It, it really did pay off. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I learned a lot of shit from that nigga too. I ain't gonna lie, like, mm. yeah, that nigga taught me how to be disciplined as a nigga for sure. <laughs> yeah. That guy yeah. seems disciplined. Though. He's super like, disciplined. When, we, when right. we look from the outside looking yeah. in. Yeah. yeah, he's one of the most disciplined niggas I've ever came across in my life. Like, you don't want to be a, a, a you don't want to be a fucked up nigga around that nigga. That's the thing. Yeah. It just it just rubs off that energy from yeah. him. So yeah, that's that's one great thing I say I took from him. He taught me how to just be myself. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Damn, that's, yeah, that's beautiful. Damn. That's so dope. it's like crazy because like you know when you. When you leave the situation, right? Like mm -hmm. everybody, it seemed like everybody had their sort of following, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> from from that situation, right? Yeah, we the TWC said, situation. Uh, no, no, not oh, that. the ambitious. Yeah, the ambitious. Yeah. Situation. At the time, I wouldn't say I really had much of a following. Yeah, because that's what I was yeah. getting to. Was like it seemed like everybody had already gotten their following, but then there was you. When you said you're leaving, I'm sure like the public was like, but this this nigga hasn't really gotten. Yeah, you know, what these other guys have gotten yeah, from Ambitious. Yeah. So why is he leaving so early before he's actually, you know, put out like something that 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 is a hit or that's yeah. that, that's garnered his yeah. following yet, you know? Because yeah. we didn't have a point of reference at yeah, the time. We just yeah, yeah. This no cow. Look cool. yeah. <laughs> no cow. Yeah. No cow. Open this, the yeah. joint with MT. Yeah. But that's really what we had yeah. going at, you know at the time. I mean? We were just like, we were just waiting. Hold on. Okay, this guy... Cool image, you know, he's got a vibe to him. Well, what's he gonna do? You know? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Now, I won't lie, that was one of the things that were on my mind at the time, too. I was like, yo, I'm about to leave these guys, and I don't really know much about the industry. And but at the like I, I have like, you know, a great support system at home, bro. Just like I already said, you yeah. know what I mean? So I don't know, bro. I believe in God more than anything in my life. Right. So I just Ooh. always believe that it doesn't matter how it's going to happen. It's just going to happen. Yeah. I just always need to make sure I put myself in the right position to receive my blessing. So I don't feel like if I stayed at Ambitious, I would have been the guy I am today. You know yeah. what I mean? I probably would have died out for real by, by, by then. So yeah. I was like, yo, look, we going to rock. Even the whole how I even ended up in TWC, that was nothing in my plans, bro. Like, I was just like, okay, I'm finna leave this label and we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Like, TWC, the boys pulled up on me and were like, yo, my nigga, we finna rock this TWC thing and we need you with it. Uh, do you mind being part of the group? And I was like, all right, no problem, let's do it. Yeah. So I just always knew somehow I was gonna be, mm. you know, where I am today. 
So it's Regardless, just a matter of yeah. yeah, it's just a matter of just making sure I'm always good mm-hmm. where I'm at and my energy is always pure because most of the time a lot of things are blocked out when you around fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um already at home, I mean mostly your stepdad, uh there was a bit of a tiff about the yeah. music. So now everybody believes, okay, sharp, he's doing it. You get into ambitious. Yeah. And then you're about to leave. You yeah. Leave. What are they saying at home? They were very supportive because I, I explained everything exactly how they they were supposed to know what's going on. With me, bro, I'm 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 a very accountable and responsible person. So like, if I'm fucking up, I'm gonna tell you I'm the one fucking up. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I always tell everything how it is. So I never, and especially with my mom. My mom is like my best friend. She knows literally everything about me. I talk to her about my friends, my relationships, mm. who broke my heart, why they broke my heart. I tell her everything, yeah. you know, mm. if I'm about to go to jail right now for some weed or whatever, She's gonna I'm going to call her and tell her, yo, my nigga, don't be su- surprised. <laughs> yeah. when you don't be alarmed. The news that <laughs> yeah. yo, your nigga got caught. So like, mm. uh, my mom has always been supportive. She always believed in me. And that's one thing that always kept me, you know, balanced. Mm. So I never had to worry Like Even at my darkest times I never worry about nothing Cause she always just Her voice is just In the back of my oh. head Saying don't worry You got this yeah. yeah That's dope man And then the interval Between Leaving Ambitious And TWC hitting you up What is How long was that time What is happening in that space It was actually the same time Like so What, what happened was So T, TWC People A lot of people Think it was Established when we just came out and decided, yo, this is TWC. But T Dub was literally Reese and Benchmark from back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. it was already a, a it was group, already a thing. You know yeah. what I mean? So they just wanted to bring that back to life. Yeah. So they just added me, Mash. Um, we ended up having X Global in the mix. We had Echo. We had Mellow. Uh, X yeah. Global. Is yeah. X Global still an artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. still he around. Put, put, up, yeah. put out something this year as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. he didn't. He didn't. He I was supposed to. I think there's a single that he dropped. Oh, man. I'm, I might be bugging. Oh, I'm yeah. I saw. I saw. Around. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't that last year, though, when, when they mm-hmm. dropped Blue my, Tape. That's why I asked. My, my, my yeah. timeline. Yeah. Yeah. He's a very <laughs> controversial nigga. I just know when he dropped, he was just trying to be controversial about what was going on at no. the time. That's that's all I know about him. But, yeah, that's the, those are the people we ended up having yeah. in T-Dub. Was Words part of that? I think he was. Well, no? Words when got part of it later. later. So how yeah. it happened was... With me, dog, like, it's different. I think that's one of the reasons why we even, like, split as a crew. You know what I mean? Because I used to stress this shit to the boys. I was like, yo, we know the niggas that are T-dub. We don't have to make this shit bigger than it is. It's already big. And it's so big that it's hard for us to even handle it ourselves. Mm. So the more we add more people in here, it's only going to get worse. The more out of control. You know what I mean? So... What the idea I had was okay, we understand that okay, fine. This is TWC. When people think TWC, these are the faces they see. If we're going to add anyone else, let's just add them as a subpar of what we got going on. So Reese already had a group called Thousand Degrees from back in the day. So I was like, as TWC, we can sign a thousand degrees and have them under our umbrella so that we don't have to complicate this whole situation we got going on. And so everybody knows how to play their position. Yeah. So that's how we ended up being a lot of niggas. Mm. Damn. Thousand degrees was lit, though. I remember nah, we were all like, lit. Yeah. I just felt like, you know, it was just a thing of we never really you know, stuck to the plan according to how we planned it from the beginning. Mm-hmm. If we did, then we'd still have TWC today. The government. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? So, but I feel like things happen for certain, for better things to happen. You know, I didn't want that shit to happen, but uh, my mom always tells me, she's like, yo, you can't have two kings in one castle. So I was like, okay, Facts. I feel it. Facts. Yeah. So, and it was so crazy seeing you become become a king. Because it was, like, it, <laughs> yeah. was it was unexpected, yeah. right? Because like I said, we were just like, I was like, this brood, I mean, cool, but what's this brood gonna do? You know what I, I mean? Feel it. And I then feel it. clouds dropped. Mm. Yeah. Bro. W- with me, actually, that was one of the first things I thought about before we even started making music as a group. I was just like, yo, there's too many wonderful artists here, bro. And especially 
rappers. Mm. So how can I stand out from them? Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, I did stand mm. out, but I felt like I always came sick and best. Mm. And as a nigga, we all know ain't nobody no. trying to be <laughs> no, number yeah. two, yeah. bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But also, that was, I was it was something I was cool with because I did it out of love and passion and because I loved everyone around me, so I didn't really care. Yeah. But... I just realized later that, yo, it wasn't for me to be number two because look at where we at today. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's dope, man. Um, as much as there were disagreements on yeah. how to move forward, there must have been some good. And so when you... There was a lot of good than bad, I can tell yeah. you that for sure. Because, mm. I mean, you can we can count all the bad things. Yeah. yeah. I can literally recall all the bad moments, but it's been so many great moments that I can't even think of when was the greatest moment we had. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of great shit happening, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie and say it wasn't great things happening. It's just that, like I said, with me, I don't like putting myself in fucked up situations. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I always, if anything, I always want to be responsible for myself because mm. that's the only person I can speak you can, for. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I just decided, you know what? Shit is getting out of hand right now, and I try to put shit together, and mm. it's just getting worse. So let me just mm. get myself out of this before it becomes a problem for me. Yeah. 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 But I was saying that to say this, that the good things that were happening when you leave uh, a group and you go work as a solo, what were some of the things that you missed that you sort of gained from being in a team? Um... Honestly speaking, I didn't miss anything because I've always been like a loner, bro. Like, even when I was around the niggas, I was just like alone at would most say, of my would time. Would I be wrong if I say you're not a good team player? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm the best <laughs> team player. You can have, bro. sounded like a great <laughs> team. I'm the greatest team You sounded like a great I'm team player. I'm the greatest team player you can have. Like, I mean, mm. I understood when it was time to be a team player and when it was time to be myself. You knew yeah. your position. Yeah, I always played my position correctly, so yeah. it was never a problem with me, you know what I mean? So, mm. yeah, so I would never say I'm no. not. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really just yeah. like, I like being by myself because I'm just like a shy nigga in, oh. in general, so... Yeah. Recording in front of my friends, I always have this thing of, yo, what the fuck? Do these niggas even like what I'm doing right now? Am I doing it right? I know that feeling. You know what I, I mean? So, like, I always do it myself. I'll just lock myself in the studio alone, recording. When I'm done, I'll call everybody and, yo, yeah. come hear this shit. Yeah. That's how I always done it. Oh, okay. yeah. that's crazy. So, now mm. getting into the in the music, right, yes, man, going to, like I, like I say, like the first uh, body of work, you know, Clouds is the first one yes, that, that I heard. I'm not sure if there was anything that you've done prior maybe that didn't make make it yeah I actually mess. had a mixtape that never made it yeah yeah but yeah thank why, god why it never it came it? out <laughs> 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 so what happened was um, I had a flash drive right so it was in the flash drive so at the time I was still more uh, like a whole lot mobile so I was like and ambitious and still in the hood at the same time. So we was in the hood just making some songs. So everything I recorded was going into that drive. Okay. So I had to drive in and one of my friends, Nell, I'm not sure if you know Nell, he was also signed to Ambitious. He was also the young, right? Yeah. Yeah. So but yeah. literally that's all I know. Yeah, we grew up together actually. So that's... It's crazy. I don't even know how he got to Ambitious because I was like, yo, nigga, like, yo, with me the whole time. <laughs> did you walk in and he was there? Or did nah, he, like... Because you were kind of announced almost the same time even, if I'm not he, mistaken. He pulled up like a week after he, me. Yeah, that's what and I'm saying. And he got there on his own I terms. I don't remember like, Nell. Well, forgive my... I just uh, literally don't remember the name. Nothing to do with me, bro. Like, and this is a nigga I'm with at oh, home yeah. 247 like when I come back from school I'm with this guy we go into the studio together literally every day you know what I'm saying if I'm doing some fucked up shit in the hood He's dead. that's the nigga that's doing that shit with me you know what I mean so, shout out to Neo wherever you uh, at shout, shout out to Neo <laughs> so yeah I was with that nigga in the studio and uh, I was with Steve this other nigga called Steve um, and then we were just recording and then 
Nell literally accidentally kicked the drive and it got fucked up. So, <laughs> so how, it wasn't uh, even losing the drive. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the drive that's was how broken. We, yeah, so that's how we lost the project. Yeah, but yeah. there was no way to recover next. Nah. But you're not I'm mad sure at the there's a way. I'm it's not even way. mad, bro. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm like, yo, if anything, that was not the, the, it the best the way to go out. Yeah. Oh, nah, 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 nah. That's well, Clowns, it took me like uh, almost like nine months to create. And it was probably the worst project I had to create. Like, I was in the worst space of my life. I was in, It sounded uh, like it. Yeah, I was in, like, in a great space of life. Like, But also, I was forced to make the songs I made because the niggas I, I was around were very in tune with themselves. So I always tried to make songs to get away from the pain. They were like, dog, the only way to deal with it is by facing it yeah. head on. So. Yo, man. And that's the true. only way people are going to relate to your music is if you put all of that shit in it. So yeah. that's how Clouds came about. I made those songs out because I wanted them to make them, but because I had to. Yo. Yeah. yeah. But I love that project. <laughs> yeah, that project was dope, though. Yeah. I love I, that project I won't lie, so much. Looking back to it now, I actually enjoy the music. Yeah. I just don't like the nigga I was then. No, 100%. Yeah, yeah. that's 100%. just sad, really. Yeah. So when you listen, you almost go into that space and then you're like, ah. Nah, I actually don't. I actually I listen to my music most of the time because that's how I always, like, you know, draw inspiration for, for my next shit and how I want to build my sound. Because oh, one thing you always got to remember is fans will always be attached to what you gave them first. Mm. So I always try and make sure I have some sort of feeling that I've always oh. had for them from way, way, so it doesn't detach from them. Mm. As much as I'll always change and evolve my sound. Yeah. Makes no, sense. Makes sense. Dope, yeah. Love that project, man. Like, even the way <laughs> that you opened it, the, the mama intro, bro. Mm. <laughs> there was one song that was probably the hardest to make. What? Because oh I was God. scared of saying the things I was saying on that song. Mm. But I was like, yo, I'm going to have to say this shit. Because no. I was even scared to say it to my mom, like, straight up yeah. at the time. So I was like, yo... Let me just put it on the song. I know this is gonna live forever. Did you play to her? I actually like, nah. She the first time she heard it was when I dropped it. I and coincidentally I dropped it on Women's Day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> and what was her Jordan response? So beautiful. She loved this. That's her favorite song out of my whole catalog. That's my favorite song out of your whole catalog <laughs> to this day, bro. I to appreciate this day. that. Uh, my, my I actually God, love that song. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I love it. Like I was listening to it. The day before we came here for the listening party, I was just listening to all my projects because yeah. I didn't want to listen to German until it dropped. I was like, yeah, I don't want to listen to this shit until it drops. So today we're going to play everything else. That's yeah. not it. Yeah. And I think we had Clouds on repeat more than anything else. Dog, that album, that project is <laughs> special. That project is special. I appreciate that, that song man. I appreciate is a spiritual that. song, bro. Thank that's you like very that song. Much. That song speaks to the soul. <laughs> you know, I think there's only like one equivalent to that song for me that that's dropped lately. You know, Blackie's Mama, it's bad. Yes, and sir. I think, yes, sir. I think that's the only yes, song sir. I could. You can really yeah, yeah, put it on right. from yes, the sir. harmonies, from what you're saying. It, they're prayers, bro. Like yeah. even if you 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 you're asking from pray for prayers from your moms, but it sounds like you're praying as well. You yeah. know, I mean? I'm a, I'm a big uh, I'm big on praying, dog. Like I'm big on praying. Yeah. But. It's something different about mama's prayers, though. Hey, you know bro, what I'm saying? Trust like, me. They say, uh, what did Pretty say? He said something about um, your mom's tears are like the loudest sound you ever hear, or some shit like that. <sighs> That's true. Yeah, something along those lines, but like your mama's tears are like the loudest cry you'll ever hear in your life. So That's facts. I was like, yo, if anything, I'm trying to keep a smile on that woman's face yeah. forever, bro. Yeah. yeah. But, so you got that, like, it's crazy how it starts on such a spiritual note, right? But then you go on the rest of the album. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. And I, was, I was a fucked up nigga back then. I'm not even a lion saying <laughs> I was <laughs> fucked up back then, bro. Like, also just because of the things that I've been through at the time. And also it was kind of like, you know when you're going through some fucked up shit for the first time in your life? Because for me, it was like, this me, I'm just this little nigga. Mm. I just got thrown into the world. Now I have to deal with the world. So that project is me explaining and expressing all of that. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, though, what, I mean, where, what, what is Klaus under? 
was it? That's nah, that, was, that was Independence but, Shade. Yeah, that was oh, Rick and Crew. Yeah, because yeah. oh, yeah. okay. Reese was on it. Yeah. 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 It was, yeah. The, the features were also really dope. Like, mm. the Les joint is my joint too. Man, <laughs> and you know how that song was not even supposed to be on the project, crazy enough. Why not? So here's a fun story about it. So I was already done with Clouds, bro. Like, yeah. So what happened was I was speaking to VG and he wanted a song. And then I made that song on the spot, literally, and then we sent it to him. And then initially, the nigga we wanted for that song was Frank, you know? Mm. And then it was hard to get Frank, but also VG just kind of not, he didn't show me much interest in trying to get this song going mm. already. So I was like, okay, let me see if I can get Liz. I got Liz, I sent it back to VG, nothing happened. I was like, yo, I'm gonna put this on the project because I'm not gonna sit on this song. Yeah, so fire yeah. joint. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it came out. Yeah, fire joint. But shout out to Liz, though. That that man is always on my in, in my corner whenever yeah, I need that's him. That's what I wanna dead. ask. Like your yeah. relationship with him, because you're also on one of my favorite, like one your yeah. verses that are like. Hall of Fame 2. Yeah. yeah I love that song. Man. Crazy enough, so. you know how we made that song, bro. Mm. What song is that? Uh, um, get Paid. Get Paid. Yeah, Get Paid. Oh, now Get Paid, I was already cool with Liz by the time. But the first mm. time I made a song with Liz, I think mm. that song is also on Hall of Fame too. Mm. What's this song, man? Um, Top. It has me, it has Reese, X on it, mm. Liz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I forgot who else is on the song, but how that song came about mm. was, so Reese and Mash were invited to a session at Liz's house. Liz said, come with everybody else. We pull up to the studio. We like, like I said, bro, we play in our position. I'm literally on, you know, I'm here. I'm like, let the niggas do what they got to do. Mm. And, you know, let's make sure it's a great session, a great night, so we leave here you know, happy. Yeah. And then the first thing Liz said as soon as we all walked in was like, if you're an artist, you're not leaving my studio without recording something. Mm. And oh. the crazy thing was everybody started having cold feet over there. <laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> let me break the ice for everybody. So I just stepped into the booth and literally did one take and that was so it. So you stepped in first? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> was which first which is out of was it normal for you? Cause you yeah, I was about to yeah, say. It yeah, wasn't. Yeah. But also, like like I said, my team always, like, they they always like me to be the nigga that, you know, mm. makes everything yeah. balanced and very easy for them to, you know, go in and do anything. It didn't matter what situation we're in. If we're in mm. studio, if it's girls, whatever the situation is, mm. it's always, yo, flame, my nigga, yo. <laughs> you started off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just went into the booth did that one take straight up and everybody was now just running into the booth and I was like, all right, cool, we straight now. Yeah. 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 And, then, and then from there, Liz just started liking me more than everybody and mm. I started spending more time with him. I was literally going into the studio with Liz almost every other week. That's called dope. me, yo, pull up to the studio. We'll make like four or five songs. We have so many songs that are not even oh, coming yeah. out. I don't mm. think they'll ever even come out. It's fine. Yeah. And, and all of that, where, where, when did Get Paid happen? Get Paid happened the same... No, nah, I'm lying. I'm lying. It happened the year after. So that was 2018. Yeah. yeah. It happened in 2018. So we had just moved from Pretoria to Santon. We are living in Rovonia at the time. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, Double D just called me. He's like, yo, Liz wants to get this song done. He sent me the song. I listened to it quick, fast, and uh, I hit up Melo. I'm like, yo, Melo, uh, I need you to dip with me here because I'm not going to that studio alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I just got there, did that shit quick, fast, made other songs. I think we did two more songs, and then I left. That's dope. Yeah. I, I, I'm asking all these questions about Get Paid because... I love it so much. That's a song, and I'm sorry to say this. That was like we actually shot a video for that song, really? and it never came out. Yeah, oh, we man. had shot That's a video a for that song. song. I'm not sure if you've ever seen this other photo of me like chilling with girls counting money. I'm not no, sure. Man. That was if from the video. Yeah, really. yeah, that was from the video. Yeah, for me, that what? was the song. I was like. Okay, I was not Ellie like Camelo was. That's why I was like, okay. <laughs> That's what you mean. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. I hear this nigga crazy. You, 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 you guys, yeah. nah, but I don't yeah. like, that was probably one of yeah. my, yeah. that was 
for me, I didn't really like that verse because it was just like I just did it on some okay, yo, this is my OG. I think I got, I got convinced one. we were at um, Major League Gardens one time. Yeah, and you guys were performing, and then I did we perform that song? Oh yeah, we did. No, no, I don't know if you performed that song, but, but like you performed, you performed, and then the reception was crazy. And, and then I, I, I had my own to Major League Gardens though. Um, was it the one in, in Santa? No, 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 no. It was the one in Deep Blood, Deep Blue, man. Was it? The, I don't. It's not the F and B one. No, it wasn't the F and B. No, one. it, it might have been. It might have been, been the Nasrek one. N- was it Nasrek? It might have been. I Either think Nasrek it was the Nasrek one or the one Epila for we. Wherever it was, two? it was the who. Nasty was been, performing yeah. there too, right? Who? Nasty. Nasty. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. All I know is that I had All the I, I told you at moment. That time, at that time, <laughs> at that time, we had, we used to have like arguments or something, and he would be like, "Yo." Flame is that guy. We'd be like, yeah, we still need to see more. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, we need to see more. We need yeah. to see more. Yeah. But I wasn't even booked for that show, crazy enough. It was, yeah, because um, you, yeah. you came as part of like a bunch. Of, there was a bunch yeah. of y'all. But when you got up and I was like, Ass. And then I was always like, <laughs> and then it was like, I was like, <laughs> and this nigga was looking at me like this. <laughs> what I tell you? Yeah. Now, yeah. like, also yeah. for me, like, Till today, bro, like, I still feel like that every time I go on stage. Like, I feel like, okay, do these niggas really know my shit like that? Like, you know, but um, one thing that's always, you know, been in the back of my mind that Reese has left in the back of my head was, my G, it doesn't matter what people think or how they look at you when you perform. All you got to do is just give it your all, bro. Like, Mm. some people are not standing still because... They don't fuck with you. Some of them are just in awe. Yeah, and they can't believe that, yeah. damn, this nigga's that good. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Some of them are really, you know, just trying to understand you and get mm. you. So you just got to keep going. So mm. whenever I see people going crazy for me, it's like, damn, yeah. you niggas really fuck with my shit. Yeah. Damn. But you're breaking my heart with get paid when you say don't lock up. <laughs> nah, I didn't like it. I don't lie. Nah. Also because I didn't really. <laughs> Six blunts in rotation. <laughs> Like, I don't even remember what uh, I was saying on that verse, bro. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. I did it so quick because I was just like, yo, man, like, let me just get Liz's uh, verse and get out. Like, 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 <laughs> my bad for that yeah, one, though. Yeah. Like, my bad, though. I, that's yeah. just me being honest, though. Like, I yeah. didn't really like that verse and I okay, was cool, my man. Way. Like, <laughs> like, this like bubble, man. man. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that, but I mean, at least you like it. Yeah. <laughs> at least you I fuck with it. A lot of people like it. Even I miss, I miss that verse. Yeah, There's a well, lot of man. things I don't like that people like, and at the end of the day, that's just something I had to, you know, come to terms with. That it's a lot of things. Like I said, that when I made clouds, I didn't like none of that shit. But that's probably my my second most liked project after Candyman. So really? I would be like, yeah. yeah. I mean, my my core fans, like people like you that yeah. started with me, would like that project over everything. Over everything, yeah. but. Yeah. But even Candyman, I was so happy because, <laughs> yeah, well, because of what you were facing at the time, right? Yeah. It, it, the, the, the camps were split. Yeah. And again, this was also, again, I'm, I'm also fighting with other people. And I'm done with these ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other I was people. about to say, like, whoa. Online. Yeah, at this the, time, now, yeah. this time, the, the guys were there, like, all right, cool. We, we see it. Yeah, we see yeah, it. You man. know what I mean? But even there on Candyman, it was like, everybody was like, all right, let's see what he's going to do without. Yeah. Without everybody, you know, yeah. and then you proved it again. I was like, again, <laughs> I had the smile again. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> people set themselves up for failure when they were thinking like that because, excuse me, they oh they already knew I had great music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The only thing now that they, they could have probably tried to look at that could have tried to beat me down is just literally all the negative shit. Mm. But if you're going to wait for me to drop some great music. You're definitely not gonna be disappointed, bro. Like, yeah. you know, so for me, I looked at it like, what a great way to reinvent myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, I won't lie, making a project, I mean, the, I was finishing it off when the split happened. Yeah. So I already was started with the project when we was still at T Dub. Mm. So when I was finishing it off, that's when I was like in a bad space. But I tried to, you know, Keep the positivity within the project, and just also just be positive as a as a person. But I kind of went off the mic for like a f- 
at least a month or so before I actually finished off the album because mm -hmm. I couldn't do it, bro. Like, I was that depressed. Damn. So, Crazy. if you started uh, at the Wrecking Crew, were there any other features that maybe you had taken off after the split? Nah. But mm -hmm. initially, I wanted to have Reese on the title song, Candyman. Mm -hmm. And then he always said, yo, I'm going to put the verse in, I'll put the verse in. And then I had this other song on the first German ender called Long Overdue. Mm -hmm. He put the verse in on Dad instead of putting the verse on oh, Candyman. No, yeah. So that's that's how mm -hmm. it happened. But initially, nah, bro. Like, I I never feel the need to just put anyone on my songs because we're good or anything. Mm -hmm. Like... If I have you on the song, it's because I needed you on it. Mm. Yeah, you know that, what I mean? Like that project was yeah. fire, bro. Like, yeah, again, like also <laughs> it, it helped the flame fan to be like, I told you <laughs> so. Yeah. You know? I appreciate that. I <laughs> you know? appreciate that. But now just just a bit of a rewind because mm -hmm. like also on, on clouds, we were speaking about this off mic because like one of my favorite songs, but it's like a guilty pleasure because it's not a song that you can just rap in public. <laughs> The message. <laughs> 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 because the song is so crazy enough because you dropped it women's <laughs> month, you know what I mean? And then <laughs> No, I didn't drop the No, you only nah, dropped into a That mama. came out in November, yeah. yeah. That came out with the whole project mm -hmm. in November. But that joint was so abrasive. Like it was like <laughs> it was like so mad. It, it did sound like you you went through a bad breakup. And you say I like, did. I won't lie and say oh, I didn't snap. go through a bad breakup. I did, breakup. Okay. I did go through a bad joined, breakup, yeah. but <laughs> the song I actually wrote for the breakup was Between Me and You. Yeah, that was the song that was. Yeah, but Between Me and You is milder than than. Yeah, than, when the, you know what was happening on the of, message. Of but like yeah. I was saying, so uh, with the message, how I told you earlier, it was like. Okay, we just got to the studio. This is our first time being in Zuchi's studio, bro. Like, yeah. mm. you know what I mean? And to me at the time, Zoo is one of the people I'm looking up to. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this is one of the greats. You cannot slip up in this man's presence. You know what I mean? Mm. And also knowing he's one of the best uh, sound engineers out here and all of that. Yeah. Man, you just got to be on your A-game being around that man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, we get to the studio. It's all of us. Man starts playing beats. Everybody passes out on the couch. And I'm just looking at everybody. I'm like, niggas, we are at Zucci's crib. How the hell are y'all sleeping right now? You know what I'm yeah. saying? So Zoo played the message beat. I was like, yo, just stop it right there because you're going to keep playing a whole lot of shit. I'm going to fuck with it. Let me just record right now. And then I started with uh, Mumbles. And then at first, it was actually like a fast flow on the hook. And mm -hmm. then Zoo was like, nah. Change it, just go, they gon' keep breaking. Yeah, and I was like, oh, cool. So that part, Zoo was actually responsible for it too. Yeah. Yeah. And then to me, it was like, how I was speaking was like, these are conversations we have every day yeah. as boys that, yo, these mommies, dad, dad. So it was like, yo, <laughs> let me just put that on it's the song. It's not a big deal. To yeah. yeah. Let me put that on the song. Yeah. But if anything, like, it's hard for me to speak on heartbreaks on my song. Like, Especially about a specific girl, it's yeah. hard because I don't like painting out people as bad people. Ah, dope. Yeah, yeah, because that one is a general one. It's a very yeah, general, like, like you'll say like, wild shit. Like, yeah, then I was just making a statement for the niggas. I'm like, yo, boys, watch out. Yeah. Do your thing, but just but watch, watch out. out. Yeah, yeah. they gonna you keep know? breaking your heart. Yeah, yeah. you go get it. Yeah. We all gonna get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also, that was my first time going through a, a real heartbreak with a girl. So Third like, time. it was like, oh damn. Oh. Mm. I mean, I thought high school. Heartbreaks were the, were the thing, but nah, bro. This was different. That yeah. was real different. Because yeah. for the first time in my life, I was actually invested in a relationship. Mm. So I kind of understood that, okay, you can actually get rocked, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can get rocked. You can get rocked. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So. Um. And all yeah. ages. All ages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to apply. That's what I tell niggas every time. Like, I tell them, like, just because you got rocked once or twice doesn't, it you don't over. keep getting it. Yeah. That's why I'm just like, yo, <laughs> I'm at a point where I don't even look for relationships no more. I'm just like, yo, if it comes, it's, it's you know, it's here. Yeah. If, it, yeah. if it goes, it's going to go. With my, it's all good. Like, I don't hold on to things no more. I'm I'm just really onto yeah. myself. Oh, but you don't want to say that you you have you go through three big breakups like in life. life yeah that's what people say like yeah i think i went through my three i'm good now yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think the, the three either harden you to go into the next one like yeah. with a different view yeah. or maybe just disinterested. For me, like after the dad clouds era, I was just not interested in relationships <laughs> and then I got back into it. Then, you know, I went through the same shit again, but uh, it wasn't as bad as the first time. And then, yeah, from there, for me, it was just like, yo, my nigga, like, I don't know. I don't I don't date people with the intention of having them for too long in my life. You know what I mean? I just be like, yo, wherever it goes, it goes. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's hard for me to get heartbroken now. I just get disappointed. You yeah. just go with the yeah. flow It's like, ah, oh, damn, my yeah. nigga, you had to do that. That's lame. <laughs> Fuck. Now I got to cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just where I'm at, man. Oh, I hear well. you, but... <laughs> It's like, oh well. Like, yeah. damn, bro, like, why'd you have to do that? You, you, you fucked too. up. You done played yourself <laughs> now, look. But of course, people act out like that if you, are you putting your all into it? If you're not. Yeah, I do. I do put my all into it. But like I said, I don't, I I, 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 I have this thing of like, I'm very, I don't get attached as much. So, and also just learning mm. the the art of detachment for me was just one of the things I had to get into. Like, mm. I always knew that, like, after those few heartbreaks that fucked me up for real, like, I just understood that, okay, besides being in a relationship with a girl, just meeting people in life and just growing, I'm going to have to leave people behind yeah. as I move. Yeah. So. Yeah, but you clocked them early because it's supposed to be high school, varsity, and then in your third year. Nigga, I miss, I miss high school <laughs> and varsity. So, you know, you I had to get you straight to it. Early. You clocked your three because the third one is supposed to come almost like early 30s in your 30s. I feel there. It. But yes. I would say, I would say from experience, the, mm. the craziest heartbreak I've ever felt was from my old friends, not a girl. Like, I thought girls were the ones that would. Fuck you up. That's why I don't really feel shit no more. Like, yeah. if a girl does me dirty, it's like, damn. Yeah. Wow, why did you have to do that? But with a nigga, it's that deep, bro, because that's the lost motherfucker you, you expect, expect to uh. do you dirty. You know what I'm saying? So when I got that one, it was like, yo, uh, there's no mommy that can do nothing to me anymore <laughs> in life. Yeah. <laughs> the best true. thing a that's girl so could true, do. Though. Yeah, yeah, like the best true. thing a girl could do to me is literally just kill me. That's the best thing you could do. I mean, she maybe could, the worst, I mean, not the best. I don't know. I mean, for her. <laughs> for her. I mean, she yeah. could expose a nigga yeah. for being disloyal to you. Like, if she sleeps with your, your, your nigga. Mm. Uh, thank God I've never came across See, any Because that's, that's, that's double That's double yeah, the shot And double. also my niggas Is loyal to me So they wouldn't do that But that's that. what I'm saying You know They would yeah, tell that's me the That's why they That's why they That's why they That's why they Disappoint you Because you say mm. My niggas is loyal And Yeah You see, <laughs> see That's what I'm saying I mean the exactly. niggas I have around me now let me say, oh, that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> niggas, I have around nah, me but now. I feel you. I feel yeah. you. They're very, you know, they're very tight. And mm. I'm not gonna say our relationship is perfect. Definitely mm. not. We have our days mm. where we have to get at each other. But I feel like that's what makes us grow. Yeah. Mm. And you know, our bond gets tighter yeah. because of that. Because it can't just be fucking gardens and rainbows you know, and butterflies. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. always yeah. gotta go through some yeah. storms here yeah. and there so that yeah. that garden can stay green. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's facts. But yeah, I like that That's you brought out the friends thing because it's something that we hardly ever talk about. We just, yeah. like, especially in this internet age, I'm a cut niggas off. Yeah. Hey, so I'm leaving New Year's. But friend breakups actually do hurt. Bro, they, they hurt the they worst. They hurt the worst. Yeah. The worst yeah. than anything because that's the, that's the one person you thinking you got for life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. besides your family, that's the mm. one. Like your friend is the one person you think you're rocking with until the wheels fall off, yeah. until shit happens. Yeah. But especially as yeah. niggas, like we don't even acknowledge the breakup. For the whole yeah, we don't. Yeah. I tell my <laughs> niggas, I'm like, yo, bro, we're not perfect. Yeah. That's one thing for sure. Yeah. So the only thing we're just not gonna tolerate is bullshit. Mm. Mm. But 
in terms of us not being perfect, we're always going to clash here and there about certain of things. Course. That's fine. But if you come with some bullshit, my nigga, then you fucking up the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah we don't deal. It just fades into obscurity. Yeah, if you're a bullshitter, yeah. then we really cutting you off. Yeah. <laughs> we cut you off before it even gets to a point where you have to break our hearts. <laughs> yeah. We have to just leave you. Or you just yeah, yeah, exhibit. Yeah, yeah. we just like, yeah, exhibit hey, signs. Yeah. It's yeah. just <laughs> tough love. You know what I'm saying? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. But now I'm very surprised at your temperament, like when we're speaking now and 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 the human that you are, right? Yeah. I, I won't even lie because it's always like you are the one person I'll be like, yo, maybe don't meet your favorite artist or something. You know? <laughs> yeah. Don't meet your heroes. Yeah, yeah. But like favorite artists, you know, because heroes is like they are very man. lit, but mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's like your music is so dope. Like I have this conversation with everybody's like, but sometimes the internet antics, the like, yeah. yeah, you know, you sometimes yeah. want to yeah. block it out because yeah. you do get wild on the socials. Yeah, I do. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I definitely do. You do. I'm get a wild, wild nigga in general. <laughs> like, you but know. It's surprising because the energy that you present here is so Buddha-esque. It's so <laughs> serene, bro. Like, I'm looking at even, like, the way that you're chilling, your body language, yeah. the bracelet you got on says love. It just <laughs> reminded me of that time when you slapped a nigga. Ah, I'll Whoa. explain how that happened. You know I'll what expl- I mean? It's Actually, like- let me explain how that <laughs> But also, we, before you explain, we're also doing this on a Sunday, you know? Yeah. No, but like, no, no, but like this, this, this is me every day, though. But every time, oh, even this his body language, day, like we were like, talking about, even when yeah. I passed him and he was like interacting with people, it was just like, the aura is so peaceful. Yeah. You yeah. know? No, but even at Ed rocking the daisies backstage, you see, when we were chilling, yeah. when he was with, with Buddy and them, yeah. it was still like, even when people were like disrupting on some taking pictures with Buddy, he wasn't like, oh the, yeah, you know, so it's still like, oh, you was like, yeah, I, was the aura. I wasn't yeah. even sure. You was really, he he invited me out yeah. there crazy yeah. enough, yeah. 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 Yo, man, the, you yeah. got such a serene aura, yeah. bro. Yeah. Even <laughs> the music itself is serene, like, even yes, like sir. the way you say on message, it's it's so yeah. hectic, but the, the delivery is so. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, yeah. I'm very, I'm very calm, bro. Like I, I'm just like you know, like. <laughs> but it's a wild one on the net. <laughs> like I said, I realize like the energy I possess is the energy I'm going to give back yeah. as a yeah. nigga. Yeah. You know what yep. I mean? So. I mean, me going back like crazy on the social media is just me expressing how I feel at the moment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But also at the same time, social media is just smoke and mirrors, bro. Like, if you take that shit too serious, some you're people gonna, do. I yeah, mean, some people do. Man. I know that. <laughs> yeah, Trust me, I was I was one of them at some point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. how I know. Yeah. So like. If you take that shit serious, you're going to either end yeah, up on the bad side of it or yeah. the good side. It just depends yeah. on how what type of energy you're giving out to social media. But, yeah, for me, it's just like, yo, man, social media is just games, bro. Like, if you take yeah. me serious too That's much exactly on social media, you're going to go exactly. left, bro. It's a game. Yeah. yeah. Get it should be like games. the snake on your <laughs> Nokia. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> you're playing a game. <laughs> I just, and a lot of people think I be wilding most of the time and I'm not. I'm just literally listening to music. I'm like, damn, what a ball. Let me tweet that. Yeah. Uh, oh, like most of the time, everything that has to go on my socials is just music. Yeah. Look, it man. might come as a tweet or whatever, <laughs> but just know whatever I said came from a song. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so why did you smack that? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. It's the games, no, but let's get into that. Real life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened at this show, right? So I, I think it was in Ranfontaine. Yeah, it was that there. That was wild. It looked hood. That, <laughs> that, that, that video hood. just played in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Ranfontaine. I, I had just came from like three or four more crazy other shows. Before I went there, I had just came from Rage, right? And at Rage, I had a similar situation to that. Oh. Right? So at Rage, I'm literally getting off stage now. I'm not, there's no song playing, ain't nothing happening. This nigga just decides, shra. Splashes a nigga. I'm like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing, bro? Like, you could have splashed while we was still turning up, mm. right? Why are you splashing me Why when now? I'm going off stage now? Yeah. That seems like it's an intentional fuck you to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I tell him shit. I'm like, my G, don't ever do that shit again with me or any other artist. I'm pretty sure they would feel how I just felt right now. So just respect niggas, bro. Like, we also human like you. If I had to pull up on you, just splash you with water. Randomly. It's not going to be yeah. jokes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I get to the show, fine. 
When I get there, they don't have my rider. And now I'm just thinking about, yo, I'm already late for this show. The fans been, because I was the only performer at the show. Yeah. So I'm like, these motherfuckers been here all night waiting for me. So yeah. I don't have time to figure out where the bottles are and the water. Fuck that. I'm going on stage because these are the people that brought me out here anyway. Yeah. So I'm like, while I'm doing that, please just make sure y'all sort out all of that. I get on stage before I even, I'm fully on stage, my nigga. The whole stage is an ocean. I'm like, God damn, this is bad. So I stop the music. I'm like, look, my niggas, let's not splash for now because first is first, whole stage is slippery. Yeah. If I try to jump like a crazy nigga, which I do at all times, I'm gonna fall. So now I have to limit how I jump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, it wouldn't be fair if I was the one doing the splashing and y'all were not. 100%. So because I don't have my water right now, let's wait for my water to come through so and then we can all start yeah. splashing. If you want to splash, just splash in the air. Just don't splash directly at me. Yeah. We all had an understanding. Now I'm like on my eighth <laughs> song or some shit. I'm performing, looking at this nigga like in front of him. I went straight to him, performing, looking him in the eye. This man just whips out his bottle <laughs> straight into my eyes. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so now my mind is racing and I'm not saying that was a good thing to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That was just like a reflex from me and I just pulled that nigga and slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> what did that girl shout? <laughs> I can't remember. I was like, yo. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, everybody was going crazy, and I, I, I quiet, and, you know, I just quieted down the place, and I was like, look. Because that looked very villainous, yo. You yeah, like, I don't like that. You know, I don't like that. Like like it did. And well, I, I tell him, I'm like, yo, but I did ask you guys to not splash. Yeah. Yeah. And now look at what it had to <laughs> it result to. Some nigga got slapped now. Look at that. We didn't have to go through this. What's funny to me? Is the pulling. The pulling is <laughs> just like, oh yeah, it's like, it's like, like, like come away. Yeah. Well, get it. All <laughs> my mind was just, my mind was just ahead yeah. of me at that damn moment. I couldn't contain myself. I'm not gonna lie. If we, you watching this, bro, my bad. I did not want to fuck you up. But <laughs> we laughed at that video. Yeah, we laughed at that video. Time, bro. Bro, I remember it here was the first nigga to call me about it. I'm like, nigga, you are so fucked up for that. Like, why would you call me to just tell me, my nigga, it's okay. He's like, it's cool. Ooh, you're gonna hilarious. go through these things just don't do it again I'm yeah. like don't worry yeah, yeah, yeah. AK in school yeah, were the first knows. two niggas to oh, call yeah, me about dope. that yeah. shit I was like hey man you still dope. got that video nah <laughs> I never had it actually <laughs> I just saw it. I might find it. I, I might find it. I'm going to put it in the video. I'm going to put it in the, I'm gonna put it in the video. I might find it. Just <laughs> I just woke up in the morning and I just saw myself trending number one. I'm like, hell no. Oh, no. This is exactly what I'm not trying to be trending for. Right right now. It was hilarious. Also, shout out to the nigga that got smacked and all. But hey, I don't man. know about all it that. It was funny, man. But Askees, though. Askees, yeah. Askees, yeah. Askees, yeah. Askees, yeah. Askees, yeah. Yeah, you got your apology. But actually, it was funny, though. Hot my dog. It wasn't It wasn't intentional. Hot my dog, my dog. <laughs> but now you know you have this understanding, right? Uh -huh. I'm not sure if it's a new understanding of how social media is for you. Like it's yeah. a game, and it's not to be taken so serious. But we've seen a lot of like disagreements with with you and your peers yeah. playing out on the socials, right? Yeah. I'm not sure if they had the same understanding, like. For instance, like with you and MT, yeah. I know. I think you guys are back cool. Let now. me, yeah, we good. Let me explain how that happened. Actually, yeah, right. So that MT and I situation started when we were leaving Ambitious. That far back? Yeah, that, that's mm. when it started. Literally after we had just tweeted, yo, we gone, blah, blah, blah. I think the same, yeah, the same day, actually. Same day this man tweets, yo, Flame, stop giving people my number. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Nigga, I, I don't that. even hit you up. Why yeah. would I be giving niggas your number when we're not even that cool? I'm, I can only give out numbers of niggas like I'm cool with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and only because I can be able to pull up on you and be like, yo, bro, can I pass this nigga your number? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not in contact. Yes, I do have it, but we don't talk none of that. We're not even close like that. Why would I be doing that? You feel me? Yeah. So I tweeted him back and I'm like, yo, my G, but I, that was just be me being funny. I was just trolling him. I ain't even gonna lie. So I was just like, yo, my G, I don't know you. I don't even know how you look like. How am I giving out your number? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then from there, it just started going crazy. He would tweet me every day about, yo, Travis Scott on the beat, this, that, third, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah, I would just reply on songs, really, 
most of the time. Mm -hmm. I never really got to it back and forth. And how it got back on social media was, how did it get back? Oh, there was a time it was actually quiet. And then there was a time he started going crazy again. So in 2020, he went off at me again. And then I decided, okay, let me be the bigger guy in this situation. I'm not going to go on social media and tweet this nigga back. It's stupid. Yeah. Call this nigga, yo, my G, why the fuck are you going off at me? Because I don't know why we beefing in the first place. Mm -hmm. Like, why are we doing this shit? You know what I mean? And he's like, ah, my nigga, I don't even know. I'm just, I just felt like, you know. Oh, he he told me he was like, he, he was still mad and angry about the situation and ambitious. He was still hurt about the fact that we left the way we left and we didn't involve them in that oh. whole plan. So I was like, okay, cool. Let's just get over that bullshit. Let's get back to being cool. And then we're cool. And cool, I go to, you know, I, I think that whole period of the year I spent it in Namibia. I come back, when I come back, first thing I come back to is him tweeting again. He's like, yo, who's better at hooks than me? Everybody says flame. He swears at me and my fans. I'm like, God <laughs> damn. Right? So now I'm like, oh, so man. just to, you know, tranquilize the situation, I'm like, look, bro. It's cool if you feel like you're better than me. Everybody should feel like that. Of course. Just as much as I feel like I'm better than everybody. So it's okay. So he read it the wrong way and started going off again and mm. again and again and again. And then it just became a situation that was out of both our control yeah. until we linked up and, you know, he, he was man enough to pull up on me and apologize about that shit. And we good now. Shout out for yeah. that, man. Shout out, man. <laughs> That's dope. You're waiting for the next one. Oh, you feel I like guess it'll, it'll happen at, at its own time. Like I said, bro, <laughs> like if I'm making a song with is. you, it's not because we all have to hear it. It's like, yeah. yo, I need to have this man on this song because there's a certain element I need yeah. for that song. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So I Shut don't up. think right now I have any music that would sound mm. perfect. I mean, I, he could jump on anything I have right now, but I mm. like making shit that's catered mm. for everybody that's mm. on it. Yeah, Shout out yeah. to MT, man. And Shout out to MT, that, man, bro. Really yeah. talented. Yeah. Yeah. No, no man, but you should come on the show as nah, well. he's the GOAT. Yeah. That's one that I told him that. I was like, yo, don't ever forget that, dog. You, yeah. You're always going to be MT. Like, yeah. Yeah. no matter what, don't ever make people that, even if I become the bigger artist, bro, it doesn't matter. You're yeah. going to always be that nigga. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. doesn't change. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. He really changed a lot. <laughs> he on needs the to rap scene, man. Yeah. That guy's the GOAT, man. Like, I'll always give that guy flowers. We'll yeah. always give that guy yeah. flowers. Niggas like bro. me exist because of him. Yeah. He you doesn't understand what, what he did with that role. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, for me, it's like, yo, bro, like, I appreciate that, man, just for even pulling up on me to just make sure we're yeah. good. Yeah. Because I actually fuck with that thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, with MT, for me, it just I put him in the same, like, you know how Deleuze is looked at, like, sort of people that were purveyors in some shape mm. or form. So that's where I, I place MT as well. That's, I feel like that, that happens to a lot of pioneers. Mm. That happens to a lot of pioneers because a lot of things that are happening now Liz was the first to do a lot of those things. Yep. MT was the first to do a lot of things that are happening now. So mm. I feel like when you're a pioneer, they're always going to look at you like to the side. Yeah. The tough thing yeah. about being a pioneer is like you don't eat as much as the people that you set it up for. That's, That's how I feel about myself too. So, but I'm good with that. Yeah, it's cool. Like, because yeah. at the end of the day, what matters to me really is just the respect. Yeah. I don't care about a lot of shit. Yeah. Bro. Like, yeah. as long as. I get the respect I deserve from I the like. niggas that have to respect me. I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like as a pioneer, you just have to be aware of what it means. Yep. You know, yeah. whenever you're claiming that you, I was the first to do that, you need to know that being the first is introducing something, getting people to warm up to something. Yeah. Yep. And you might not eat the most out of it. Yeah. But also, that's the thing about being a pioneer. Drake said this shit, he said it's not about who did it first, but who did it right. Yeah. So pioneers just need to understand there's always going to be a better nigga. Mm. <laughs> uh, I feel, I feel what he's saying. I don't think always. Because, yeah. No, 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 no. But the here's the thing. Part. Being a pioneer, you must understand what you pioneer. Mm. The next people are gonna improve upon. Yeah. So you it's are the evolve. you are you set the foundation. I understand that, but if you're a pioneer that keeps reinventing and keeps updating, 
I mean, then, yeah, no you know, cap. Yeah. No you cap. Know, that one, that one, you, that one. You can yeah. be. I don't, I'm just saying that it's a truth. I'm just not saying that it's an absolute truth. Yeah. The way I always look at it, I know I'm sure I've said the saying before, is innovators and elevators. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Innovate yeah. and other niggas will elevate. Yeah. I'm trying to be both. Yeah. Evidence. But it's harder. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of harder, but it's cool. I like I like challenges. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. like being comfortable. So yeah. The mm-hmm. hunger keeps keep yeah. staying on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You and Zuchi also had like a Joint interesting project. relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like um, ups and downs, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm like, me and my brothers always <laughs> get into it, though. Like, yeah. We get into it. Because Zuchi's a, lot a of very times. militant mind, you know? Yeah. We both are. And now that's the thing. With me and Zoo, we literally have to always literally get back down to, to earth and realize that, yo, my G, yeah. we're literally humans besides everything else. Because yeah. sometimes me and him, especially when we get into conflict, we kind of forget that we're brothers. So we just go with our egos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like me and Zoo, most of the time, when we were beefing, it was just like our egos clashing. It wasn't nothing crazy. What was it even beef or just like disagreements that go when it's public? It's a lot of personal shit I just don't want to talk about on camera. Oh, okay. That's secrets. why we didn't even want to put it out there. We just mm. sorted it out as niggas. We just don't want niggas to know that about us. Yeah. Yeah, as long as they know we fight, it's oh, fine. Yeah. I like that because yeah. it's, it, that literally is family. Too. You no, know, yeah, you, know, you yeah. keep family it in the business, house. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, if there's conflict, you keep it in the house yeah. and then you yeah. resolve it in the house. And that's, yeah. it seems like that's what you guys did. Yeah, but that's yeah. one of the people that also, like, keep me level-headed, bro. Like, that man plays a big role in my life. No cap. Mm. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> that's I just want to... Look, man, I'm not a rapper. I've never had a beef. <laughs> like, you know, like that's why right. just yeah, rappers yeah. beefing. Even oh. RB niggas be beefing. Everybody yeah, I'm, beef, not, I'm not either, man. Like, I feel like for me, it's just like personal stuff, like where we either iron it out, it's like, fuck you, yeah. whatever. I've never been in a beef, like what you would actually call a beef. I always get caught up in personal shit. And then just because of who we are, it just ends up making its way outside, but oh, yeah. it's never a beef. What I want to ask is, how do you live? Like, you wake up like, oh, by the way, I have this enemy. You know, is it? <laughs> I don't have enemies. That's no, the thing. I mean, like, but just this person who I don't agree with. Hmm. Like, what is... <laughs> no, but like, I think he explained it. It doesn't it, matter, bro. It just happens to be like, you are like uh, public personas. So yeah, it's, just, it's like you beefing with, having a disagreement with him. It's gonna go out there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And it it's, might be something there's, there's small. There's a good chat to fix that. It, yeah, but like it gets yeah. magnified if someone says, oh. yo, Mukhatwa says this about Gabel. Gabel, what do you think? If that nigga, yeah. then it's a thing. You I guess. But if yeah. you're at the crib and it's just the two of you, you have a disagreement. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, these social media. Social media. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why, like, that's why yeah, I said like, there's a group chat for us too. Yeah, yeah when so, me and Zoo had like our little squabble we were not even seeing each other at the time it was literally peak covid he was literally at his crib i'm at my crib so like everything that was happening we couldn't literally squash anything face to face so Mm. yeah i think the only reason why it went out was just me feeling like because i had already went through something like that before Mm. so at the time i just felt like i didn't want anyone to go out there and paint a crazy narrative about me, that's not it. Mm. So I just put it out there on some, yo, my G's, me and this nigga ain't gonna be working until we work again. Mm. So just yeah. know that. Oh. So it was just that. I didn't really get into detail or what no, happened between mm. us. I was just like, yo, for now y'all ain't gonna hear nothing from me and that nigga until oh. we good. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. dope. Okay, cool. I guess I'll ask somebody who's actively beefing about that. Nah. <laughs> I don't like beefing, bro. I hate Because I really want to know, like, how does it, how do you feel? How do you wake up when you're like, you're constantly active on social that there's this person who is like, I'm like, fuck you to this person yeah. or whatever. Because mm. for me, I can't imagine it. I guess maybe that's also, it comes with being a celebrity or whatever. Mm, yeah. To be actively like, okay. That's always upset. Mm. Yeah, always upset at the person. So I just wanted to get into that, but I guess you you do wish it differently. Niggas wanna I feel like niggas is just trying to get at me. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm good with that. That's why I'm like, I don't have enemies. I don't I do everybody got haters for sure. (laughs) 
But I don't have no enemies at all. Yeah. I don't wake up worrying about, okay, today if I go out, do I have to watch my back? Yeah. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Nah, yeah. just don't even have to watch your back. Just got to watch what they say about you on the TL. <laughs> Niggas, over, they always going to say some shit. So of I just course. look at it from a perspective of, if they don't know the real story, it doesn't even matter. Mm. Yeah. Now, your music also has a tendency to travel, you know? Um, <laughs> It's just a dope thing, you know, because um, like you've also had collaborations with like international producers that that hit you up. I wouldn't say it, it traveled. I actually hit up these niggas. Oh, dope. Yeah. And then, and then how's that conversation go? Like I, I think you did something. I'm not sure. Was it Johnny Giuliano? Yeah. Or, yeah who's I think so, I'm. I know Johnny through Taylor Gang and Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. And you worked a lot with them. You know. Yeah. I know him from actually the first time I heard Johnny was that 100 song by Drake and Game. Yeah. So, yeah, but let me Love just get to the real story. Yeah. Um, so with Johnny, how it happened was I just followed that nigga on Instagram. No, nah, I'm like not Instagram, on Twitter. And literally after I followed that man, he followed me back. And I was like, oh, this is crazy, niggas. Mm. And at the time, everything that was happening at the time was crazy because it was just like, yo, niggas, so many blessings at one time. This is crazy. Because mm. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Frank Dukes. Nah, you know Frank, know Dukes. Frank Dukes. Oh my God, y'all gotta go the check out. Nah, Frank Dukes is no. like one of the greatest producers. He's one of the most essential producers in the world right now. Mm. Frank, there's Dukes. no album that's only Frank Dukes. I know Frank is Van Dam and like he's the one, one that actually. So you see this shit of us having sample loops and shit. Yeah, that's the that's one of the niggas that started creating shit like that. Mm. Mm. So Mo, he doesn't really go into the studio and actually produce the beat. So he just makes. For all our big artists, he makes like exclusive packs, gives mm -hmm. them to their producers, and then they'll just work around like sample that. packs and stuff. So we had so much music. We had sample that had fucking Frank Dukes' shit. And he hit up MASH, and he was like, yo, I, I done got my, my shit from y'all niggas, and y'all don't give me my credit on my splits. What's going on? And we just told him, yo, man, <laughs> we just, we just saw Dukes. young niggas out here making music. You know well, what I'm Frank Dukes Yeah, that's Frank Dukes' team. So they were like, all right, cool. We're going to check out y'all music, the rest of it, and we'll get back to y'all niggas about what we're doing from here on out. Mm. And then literally when they got back, they're like, yo, we love y'all music. We're about to put together an exclusive pack, and it's going to come to y'all. We're like, oh, oh that's dope, fire. Dope. And then that's the same shit that happened with Johnny. As soon as he followed me, that's when we had just had this conversation with Frank's team. Mm. And then I was like, let me try Johnny. I'm like, yo, my G, uh, look, I know you're a busy nigga. Yeah. I don't need a beat. Just give me loops. I'll work around that. I can make my own beats. Just give me loops I can work on. Yeah. Send me your tag so I can put it in there and create it to you properly. And let's just get it popping. And he sent me like 80 loops or some shit, bro. Damn. And then, yeah, we ended up, I don't know, some songs didn't even make it out. Mm. But yeah, we made a whole lot of records with him and he actually fucks with us too, for sure. Oh, that's yeah. mm. So that's how we got Johnny. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Johnny Juliano. Yeah, that insane. reminds me. That reminds me. What happened with Keith Sweat's sample? I took it off. What was the issue? I couldn't pay for that sample. <laughs> How crazy. much did it? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't pay for that. It was a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Dollars? Rands. Oh. I was like, now the only problem was I had to literally I had to clear three songs and all of them were the same price. I was like, hell no, niggas. I'm Ooh. not finna drop that much. Like, yeah. we can literally like four figure out the other things here. Yeah. I was like, okay, what we'll do is interpolation. We don't get sued for that type of shit. So yeah. we just took off the sample, replayed the music. Boom. What are you clearing to? Track lab? Nah. Oh. Through the label, straight. Straight. Because oh. I didn't That's sample right from track lab. Uh, when, you, when you're doing it through track lab, you don't even have to mm. clear it because it's already clear. Yeah, the like everything that's there, as soon as you download it, mm. it's cleared. So you're mm. fine. So the only thing you have to do if they come for you is just show them where you got the shit. Mm. And if it comes from track lab, they won't have problems with you because track lab handles all of that. But mm. if you're like me, where you go exactly on YouTube and grab and the grab song this. and chop <laughs> it, <laughs> are you going to get caught? <laughs> yeah. Do you mm -hmm. believe in degrees of separation? Uh, can you please explain that for me? Because for 
everywhere you want to be, they say it's like seven people in between. Mm -hmm. So let's say I want to, I'm just even going to put it, I want to get to, let's say wherever, a label in the US. I know Cabello. Cabello knows Kito. Kito knows whoever. So it's that's the degree of separation. It's people that you know that you literally have to go through. Yeah. I'm saying that to say this, that the degrees of separation between you and Drake, you know Johnny Giuliano. Johnny Giuliano knows Cardo. Cardo knows whoever. Then, <laughs> <laughs> so do you think there's you a possibility that Drake that. knows you? <laughs> that's the degree of separation. <laughs> Most, probably, oh, yeah. Most probably, you know what's the thing? The yeah. crazy thing is I feel like, oh, uh, we're artists. Yeah. We always have this thing of, you know, our favorite artists don't listen to our music. And mm. sometimes they actually do. And mm. I realized it from a perspective of most of the time, the great music I listen to, I don't even post it. Yeah. So a lot of people don't even know what I like musically mm, yeah. or me. And I be listening to upcoming artists most of the time because that's where the real music be coming yeah, from. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. The fact that I don't put it up, it yeah. won't look like, oh, Flame heard my shit. Yeah. Or so... I don't know. I hope he did. <laughs> I hope he did <laughs> listen be. to my shit. But yeah, as a as a nigga that's that makes real music, I'm pretty sure Drake listens to anything that sounds dope. Mm. Yeah, you know, that even maybe closer to. Yeah. I would. I wouldn't. Even, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if I heard Drake knew about Reese right now. Like I wouldn't yeah. be shocked. That's that's how I believe in music and just like how great artists bump music. So I wouldn't be shocked if Drake had to wake up tomorrow and post a video just chilling, listening to Reese. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't sound that's, far-fetched. That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. Like, a lot of these people that you speak of, like you, 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 you speak from a point of them inspiring you. But yeah. have you noticed how you inspire some of some of them, or your yeah your ethics work, rub off on them? Because I remember yeah. watching an interview and then. Like, I think Reese mentioned that he just got back into writing because he had yeah. stopped writing because of yeah. how, how you made it. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was just like, I think it was just us having fun at the time, really. Yeah. So he was just also just trying to be within that whole vibe and energy. Because it's not like every song was not written. Every time he literally rapped, like whenever he was throwing all, you remember Reese used to drop like almost every Friday have throwaways. Mm -hmm. Whenever he was rapping bars, that nigga had a pin down, bro. Yeah. Like he didn't take those chances. But when we have, like when we were having like fun in the studio, making some cool songs, that's when he would just like yeah. slide onto the beat and record. But yeah, I've, I've actually realized like my influence in other people, but I don't let it get to my head. It's just mm -hmm. like, yo, let's, as long as we're creating some. And we're having a great time. That's what matters to me. Really. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. man. That's dope, man. Um, I I don't know how to put this without getting into it like deeply or anything. It could be a yes or a no. Yeah. Are you in risk cool? That's crazy. I don't know how to answer that question. That's that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's I don't cool. know how to answer. That's cool. That's 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 cool. Um, I would say we good with seeing each other doing good. Beautiful. I think that's that's where it's at right now. That's but beautiful energy. I don't think it's a thing of you would literally bump into us hanging out, trying to talk shit out. Like, nah. He's stubborn, I'm stubborn. It's it's gonna take us a while to get back there. But I'm mm. pretty sure he's happy seeing me where I'm at right now. And I'm beyond happy seeing him doing what he's doing. Like, yeah. that's all I ever wanted him to do. If you're both stubborn, who... Do you think it's the one person who can bring you guys together? Nobody. Not even Drake. It's literally <laughs> us. No one. It's just us, bro. Yeah. Uh, no one. Okay. Doesn't matter. Even Jay-Z won't be able to do that. <laughs> like, trust me. It's me and him. That one is up to me and him to, to put together and make happen. But also with me, it's just a thing of like, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. So I just feel like whenever it happens, it will happen. So I don't have to chase it right now. I just have to chase the dream. Yeah. Mm. I want to yeah. get back to the writing thing. Do you mm -hmm. ghostwrite for people? Sometimes. Um, because as I as I understand it, this the joint you had with Big Hash on the yeah. new album. Mm. Yeah. 
you were actually writing for him. Yeah. It was supposed Initially, to be Initially, I was actually writing the song for Hash. Yeah. And then, yeah. My nigga took too long to let me know what's happening with the song. But I understood because he actually told me like months late after we started talking properly again. So he was just going through some personal things. And so he couldn't make any type of music. Yeah. So, but I just liked the song. Yep. And I was like, yo, I'm not going to yeah. let this shit go to waste, bro. So I was like, yo, look, put a second verse in. We'll just drop it as a flavor and, and hash song. Yeah. But yeah, initially, I was just right. All my parts on the song were actually supposed to be sang by Hash. Mm, that's yeah. why. But Hash sang his part, wrote his part. Yeah, he just wrote his part after I, I asked for the song back. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. dope, man. That's yeah. another chemistry that I highly <laughs> you and Hash. Like, yeah. yeah. Now, me and Hash one. work a lot, yeah. actually. We, we, that's one artist I, I frequently work with outside of my circle. So, yeah, that's like, that's bro to me for sure. Like, mm. we have so much music too that, nah, my, my music with Hash definitely coming out. Not going to say when, how, but it's definitely coming out. He probably took one of the songs we have and threw it on his project. Yeah. I'm just waiting for him to let me know nice. which one that is. But yeah. we have a lot of songs. Mm. Yeah. Shout out to Big Hash, man. I yeah. like that guy, Older. man. Shout out my, mm. my name, I like that man. guy a lot, man. In terms of like uh, the, the Jack situation. Yeah. That was crazy how that happened. Just what situation? Jack situation. Jack. The Nasty C joint. Um, oh. He produced. Oh, okay. Um, but it went under a lot of so <laughs> to me. Like, we will yeah. call it that. I think um you would know better and explain what yeah. that situation was. So let me just explain the whole thing how it happened. Yeah. So Jack, how it happened was crazy for me because I didn't even know the song. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a song called Jack produced by me. None of that. So what happened was I was speaking to Nasty. Um, first time I actually spoke to this nigga was in 2019 when he was bringing me out for the Iverson. And then that time I was like, yo. Because with me also, most of the time when I work with artists, I don't like f flying into everything too much. So I'll just start with like, yo, let me give you some beats. Let's see if you can, you know, let's see if you fuck with that. And we'll just keep growing from there. From If you really fuck with my music, you'll hit me up and want to work. You know what I'm saying? So I sent him a pack of beats. And I had lost the laptop that had those beats, <laughs> right? So he hits me up in 2020. Yeah, that was like a week after me and Mizo had just dropped uh, Red Light District. Even. Mm. So he hits me. First thing he says, yo, this Red Light shit is crazy, nigga. It is. Yo, I need the sips for these beats. I recorded on them. I'm like, damn, my nigga, I done lost the laptop. I don't got them. But I'm like, look, I could do you a solid. I'll send you some new shit, mm. better shit. He's like, I bet. Sent him like probably 10 to 15 beats. And I sent him a song to throw a verse on. And then that's how Buddy came about. So mm. he sends me Buddy back as a hook. I didn't even... I sent him... I initially wanted him on a different song. Yeah. So he sends Buddy. And then I wake up literally the following day. He's like, yo, check your email. Open the email, I press play, I find this hook, and I'm like, okay, so What's are you going to finish this demo or should I do something about it or what? He's like, nah, if you finna put a verse in, you can throw it in. I'm like, all right, whatever. Verse in, same time. Yeah. Send it back. All right, my dog, what we doing? Now I'm gonna throw my verse in and we'll see what we take it. All right, no problem. We waited for a while and then I went to Namibia and I came back. When I came back, I just felt like, yo, I want to, I was just too inspired. I was like, yo, I got to work on some shit. And then that's when I worked on DOA. So we literally worked on DOA the whole week from scratch. The only two songs I had from DOA was the buddy hook and my verse on it. And like literally half of the first verse on Sin City. Yeah. That's the only songs I had. Everything was just made from scratch in like a week. Yeah, we made that whole project in a week. Mm. And then I sent the song to Zoo. I was like, yo, put a verse in here. Let me see if, you know, we can get this nigga to look alive. Send it back to Nasty. Nasty's like, nah, nigga, this song is finished. This sounds perfect. I'm mm. like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Put it on the project, we drop it. And then fast forward to last year, his manager hits me up. Yo, 
we need Cypress to this beat. I'm like, what? Do I even still have this fucking beat with me? You know what I'm saying? So I go and look, and I'm like, okay, I find it. I press play, and I'm like, damn. This nigga jumped on this beat. I didn't even finish this beat, bro. Like, but I was like, all right, whatever. I just, you know, added a few things while I was finishing it up before I gave them the sips. And I literally heard the song the first day, the same day it dropped. That was the first time I heard the song myself. And then, yeah, we went through, like, sample clearance issues and stuff like that. So that's when I kind of started learning about these are uh, royalty free samples they actually are free but they have a limit so if your song streams over 100,000 streams then you got to start paying mm. but if I you're not doing over did. that <laughs> was like millions in, in a few hours i'm like damn yeah. i ain't never seen these type of numbers in hours mm. this is crazy so but it was cool i kind of understood i mean at the end of the day it's like your intellectual property yeah. So yeah, the man didn't even give us a problem. That's why the song even came out, uh, came up that quick back. So it was just like, yo, this is my sample. You niggas dropped. We were like, yo, we didn't know who to contact. We yeah. just found this shit on YouTube. But yeah, he took his split. They paid him his cut, and we are all good. Nah, it's it's crazy how good. that doesn't get like yeah nobody told, yeah, nobody <laughs> told us about that like, part. Oh, Flame stole this beat. Yeah. 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 People always. Put me in that thing of I still beats just because I use the same sample as everyone else does. Yeah. And most of the time I don't even know who the fuck is using the same samples as me. I'm just like, oh, I like that sample. Mm -hmm. Let me chop that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But lately I don't really like dive into samples much because of those things. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I'll take a sample, chop it, and then I'll create music around it and just get rid of it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Mm, that's, that's dope. How'd you get the, the the Michael Jackson sample kit though? I didn't use the sample. That was interpolation too. Even the Usher one. Yeah. Everything in there is interpolation. Yeah. yeah. Cause I literally had samples for almost every song. No, when I heard there. that, I was like, yo. Yeah, I almost had it. Like, <laughs> and then yeah, when we had to clear, it was just Hard to do that, and I had already set out a date yeah. to drop, so it was kind of so, crazy to handle. So, break everything. it down for someone who's watching who There's samples. Yeah. What is the difference between the two, like when you sample and when you interpolate? So, when you uh, and, interpolation is basically replaying the music, yeah. And what is the difference in paying for and clearing the two? Clearing and paying is the same thing, yeah. Excuse me, so. Uh, um, so with sampling and clearing it, it goes like this. Um, clearing the sample could go both two, one of these two ways. Yeah. You're either going to pay to clear that sample yeah. or whoever you're clearing the sample from likes your shit that much and just clears it for you for free. But whenever you clear the sample, there's always a percentage that's being taken from you. Okay. No matter what happens, yeah. whether you paid for it or, or you got it for free. Yeah. You're gonna have to have a certain. So when we're doing our publishing splits and stuff, they decide how much they want to take. You don't have a say in that. Yeah. If they want to take the whole song. They take the whole song, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how clearing a sample goes about. But yeah, with me, I just avoid that by just doing interpolation. So interpolation is, you take the sample. Well, the easiest way to do it, you just chop the sample, pitch it to whatever pitch you want, replay the music. And then take away the sample. It's still going to sound like that, but just more richer because when you sample, you also have to close certain frequencies yeah. on the song yeah. and all that. So when it's just literally all the music together, it's easier to, okay, let me bring the keys up. Yeah. Let me put the guitar on the left. Let me put that on the right. Let yeah. me, so it's easier to work around that. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, it's, funny. it's funny you say that. I just recently saw a clip of DJ's Boo saying, he never got a cent for when it rained. Remember when it rained? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes nah. sense, though. It's he did like sample, zero. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of niggas don't get money he from the songs they remixed. They, yeah, he remixed. Yeah, a lot of then, niggas don't yeah. don't get this money. I know Juice World wasn't getting shit yeah, from, from Lucid from, Dreams. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah, only Sting, getting paid from like shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Sting yeah. doesn't play. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I know a lot of niggas that that don't get money from their songs just for because of samples. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Why did you feel that um, Jermaine needed a, a sequel? Why, why, why was that given a sequel? 
it wasn't really me, honestly speaking. It was the niggas around me. Mm. So I was just literally just making music because some of the songs on German that I actually like cutaways from the album. Mm. So it was just like, okay, let me take away these songs from the album and see if I can work on something new while I give the album a break because I didn't want to rush myself into finishing the album and just give it out. Mm. So I was like, okay, let's just have that in the oven for now. Let's work on Germander. And then when I worked on the intro and I played it for a few of my friends, they were like, yo, this intro has something that just takes you back to the first Germander. And I was like, mm. okay, I don't have to think too much about the title. Mm. I just call it Germander too. <laughs> <laughs> Jamenda was was also a lit one, man. Huh? I appreciate what, that. What, what made you go into this very R and B esque? It's uh, very R and B. Yeah. yeah, dog. I'm actually more of an R and B nigga than a hip hop nigga. Like that project is damn near trap soul. To yeah. Me. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my trap I mean? soul. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so for me, like I've I've always been like more of an R and B nigga than a hip hop nigga. Hip hop is just something I adopted as I grew up. You know what I'm saying? Just mm. I read somewhere because you, you thought it was yeah. easier to get into. Nah, was not it? even. It wasn't that. Like, my big brother was just, like, a big influence to me. So anything he did, I wanted to do. Okay. So when he started rapping, I was like, I'm a rap. When he did that, I did that. So it was just like... Hold on. Your big brother, you said you're the oldest. Who's your big nah, brother? No, not really, like, big brothers. And oh, like, he's my oh, he's my older oh, cousin. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, um... Everything he just did just rubbed off on me and I just wanted to do that. Cause also he was like uh he was like the, you know, the kid in the family that everybody liked. You know, the oh, family yeah. was like Ooh. when they made an example of a kid that pointed <laughs> that's at him. That, yeah. So how could you not wanna be uh, like that, 100%. nigga? So that's how it happened, really. So but honestly, I was just doing different things before I even started rapping. I I used to write gospel songs. I used to do like traditional music, like yeah. uh, Minoa Satwana. We used to mm. do a whole lot of music stuff that had nothing to do with rapping, bro. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but <laughs> you, you heard his mom on the, it's, it is your mom on the yeah, intro. Yeah, yeah. She does, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Like, so, yeah, yeah that's, that's, how, that's how I got into hip hop by just spending too much time with my brother, really. Yeah. But I've always been an R&B dude, also because I, I was raised by my aunts. So it's literally just R and B there, yeah. nothing else. So that's mm. all you listen yeah. to when you're around those people. So, but yeah. I love R and B, bro. Like for me, it's just, especially now. Back then, it was just like yo, it's just some music that I gotta tolerate. But now <laughs> I kind of understand why it, they yeah. love it. Yeah. So yeah, because also with hip hop now, it's just it's a few niggas that you you can you know pick out and say these niggas are actually doing it from the heart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some niggas we just oh, they just yeah. doing it just because oh I gotta be better than that other nigga. I gotta, you know, be the for me it's never been about that. It's like what can I take from you and apply to my life after oh. listening? Boom. Message. See that's Boom. the message. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I look at it. So mm. and yeah for me I, I feel like hip hop just kinda also helped me you know, and how I also go about making my music in general. So how I write a song yeah. comes from hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I can just use the R and B melody to yeah. just quote that. Yeah. So that's how it's it's a great balance of both yeah. worlds. Because at least for a nigga that doesn't want to listen to a rap rap nigga mm. Mm. and wants to listen to a singing nigga that can still listen to Flame. Mm. And a nigga that don't want to listen to a singing nigga that much and listen to a rap nigga that can still listen to Flame. Yep. That's just, mm. yeah. That's dope. <laughs> Do the Travis Scott comparisons irritate you? Nah. I love them because for me, it's like, yo, bro, do you know how great Travis Scott is for you to compare me to that nigga, bro? Like, mm -hmm. I've always looked at comparison as uh, yeah, another no way of, of compliment. Yeah. La Flame. You know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. And crazy enough, people think I got this name <laughs> from, from being a Travis fan, bro. Like, I had this name since I was like nine years old because mm. I started rapping when I was seven. Damn. But I wasn't taking it serious then. I only started taking it serious when I was like 10, 11. But yes. when I was nine, I just got caught up in like a little cypher. I was still staying with my grandma. And then this one the dude was like, yo, man, 
Mm. What's your name? I was like, uh, my, my name is Kyle. He's like, nah, you flame, dog. I was like, all right, cool. I'll roll yeah, with man. that. And then everybody around me just started calling me the flame because also it comes from like, I don't know if it's French or it's a Latin term to say the flame. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's basically saying the flame in Latin mm, when yeah, you're saying definitely. La Flame. Mm. So, coincidentally, I ended up beca- uh, becoming a, a La Flame fan too. And yeah. I was like, all right, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. But like I said, uh, for me, anybody, if you're going to compare me to a great artist to me, that's a compliment. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's a nice way. I mean, even your outfit right the now. The only time I get touched flame. is if niggas compare me to niggas that I feel like are below my standard. Hectic. That's when I'm like, nigga, there's no way. <laughs> He's not seeing me. Saying, uh, I sound like that nigga. <laughs> hey, no way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who are some of these cats? <laughs> nah, we don't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> nah. Oh, man. Um, Understandably, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. It's understandable. So, mm-hmm. just before we, in terms of Jamanda mm-hmm. two, what do you want from it? What are you hoping to do with it? You know, what I mean, it's a sequel on its own. So, for some crazy reason, bro, like I'm very simple when it comes to life in general, bro. Like. At first, I mean, also, I feel like I had to go through me chasing all the shit that I was chasing to realize that I was chasing the wrong shit. But for me now, when I make music, the only outcome is just like, can it just land on the right ears? Yeah. Mm. It doesn't matter, bro. Like, for me, it doesn't matter if I stream more than who or if I stream less than who or what or who's talking more than about it. Or It doesn't matter. Like... What matters is whoever's pressing play there, just got to make sure they enjoy that shit. That's mm. my biggest expectation out of the music I yeah, make. I don't beautiful. really care. Beautiful. Yeah. Damn, that's beautiful. <laughs> who do you, who are you with now in terms of like label-wise and stuff? So I have a distribution deal with Platoon. Mm. And then my management and publishing is done through Kev's Club. So I'm still fully independent, basically. So I just have like a team of people that are helping me push this thing to a bigger level, basically. That's all we, we're doing right now. I'm not trying to get signed, like I said earlier. Like <laughs> It comes with a lot being signed, bro. Like You yeah. know what I mean? And also with yeah. me and having to go through all the shit I had to go through with labels, it was just like, okay, now I know how shit works. Yeah. Mm. It's just a matter of, okay, I need to be patient with myself and know some things are not going to come now. Yeah. But I just need to work hard. Because I'm not with a label, I have to work harder than the niggas in the label. You know what I'm saying? I have to, yeah, I need to go crazy here and I just need to make sure, like I said, everything needs to just be pure with me. Yeah. So, like, even the type of business I get into is always straightforward. Like, if I find something that sounds, ugh, I'm off. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now, speaking yeah. about business, I mean, there's ventures that you seem to be yes, getting sir. into. Yeah. Orders. We've never had our yeah. table. Yeah, we've never table had our table this, this uh, packed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not this our packed. table, but, you know, our this set. Packed yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, shout out to, to, to my peoples, man. Like... It's just that we can't put that man on camera, but, you know, like having the management I have right now, it's easier for me to just do all the types of things I want to do. Like any idea I, br- I come up with, it's, I wouldn't say easy, but we do bring some shit to life. You yeah. know what I mean? So obviously we want to get into our own water, supplying people with a whole lot of different things because I just feel like... Alkaline. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, with us, it's like, we don't want to also just do shit that everybody else does. Like, yeah. yes, I can make merch, but if I'm going to make merch, let me make some shit that everyone else would want to wear, not because a Flame fan wants to wear that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everything I just want to put myself into in terms of business is just something I can find family friendly. Mm. You know, that's where I've been now lately when it comes to business. That's why we got you know, the world these is, guys, we have the uh, CBD. We have the CBD company Rethink. We have the Nora. Is it Nori or Nora? Nord. Nord, yeah, we have Nord. Uh, mm-hmm. They got a, a smoke and they actually do a lot. They don't just supply vapes, they have rolling paper company. So I would want to say I have one rolling paper company that's fucking with me, but I have so many rolling paper companies he's fucking with me because of these guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of also like, 
I was telling my team, I was like, if we're going to start anything, let's just start small. Mm. You know what I mean? We don't have to think about the big things. So let's look at the people that want to build. Let's build with them because at the end of the day, they're going to treat what we got going on like, you know, as 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 much as we treat it, they're going to treat it at the same level as we do. Yeah. Because we all understand the, the basics of what happens at the bottom. Yeah. So I'd like building with people than actually going to people that got shit established already because it's harder to figure out ways to be innovative and come up with new ways to just capture people's yeah. eyes and attention. So I'm glad I started with people that, you know, are also starting off. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a great relationship. And, yeah, I'm very grateful for them even just trusting me with this whole thing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Diversify. Damn, man, that's yeah. beautiful, man. Yep. Yeah, but I, like I was telling you earlier, I'm trying to get into snacks now, you feel yep. me? So Ooh. trying to get into snacks. I like that. I don't know, man. I'm just like a foodie, bro. Yeah. Like, I like food. Also, just because I'm a stoner, so it's always like, you're hungry. <laughs> it does make sense. Trying to have food. So, yeah, I'm trying to get into snacks. But me and Mac are still thinking about how we're going to go about that. Gonna but it's definitely going to be... Slow. Even if I do that, you know, yeah. shit like that. That's the things I'm thinking. It's just mm. like finding the right partner to start off that with. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Ghost Slow is a good start. It's good. Yeah. I know a lot of stoners. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, them Ghost Slows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Them Ghost Slows. Nah, Ghost Slows, I, I, yeah. I, still, I, I still fuck with those. I buy them every now and then, Same. bro. Yeah. Like, I cannot yeah. not have Ghost Slows. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that not does not make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Come on the show, Ghost Slows. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yeah, yo, hit us up, man. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, we know y'all got the hood, you yeah. know, fuck with y'all, but come on, we yeah. fuck with y'all still. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. so on, on some fan ish because I'm such a big buddy fan and I know that you guys linked yes, up sir. as well, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, like, like how how was that link up? For me, that was a very it's like me linking up with you niggas right now, really. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it was like another part of my dreams coming true, really. Yeah. It was like I'm a big buddy fan. I started listening to that man when I was like 18. Mm. Yeah, Reese was the one that actually put me on to buddy music. So, yeah, like shine in there, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, it's, it's been like great watching Buddy grow as an artist, first things first. And I would just say, meeting him for me was just unrealistic, bro, because of how it even happened was like, damn, is this me for real about to go link up with this man? This is crazy. So, I uh, remember it was, because we were supposed to be at Daisy's for Mizo, but Mizo had, you know, issues he was dealing with, so he had to cancel his show so he couldn't yeah. go to Cape Town. So, basically, I had, like, a little chilled weekend doing nothing. I only had Zanzu on Sunday, and that's the day I actually met him. Yeah. So, Saturday morning, my gut just says, DM Buddy, bro. And I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to my gut. And I'm just like, yo, look, bro, let's let's tap in while you're still out here. Let's see yeah. what's up. Man's like, I bet, pull up to the festival. I'm like, damn, I'm not in Cape Town. I'm in Joburg. So I don't know if we can link up if you come to Joburg or whatever. I didn't even know there was you a know, Daisy's in, in Joburg. True, you know yeah. what I, mean? I didn't know nothing. I yeah. thought it ends in, in Cape, Cape Town, Town and yeah. it's Chai. So, but I knew the people that brought him this side, so I, I knew he was going to eventually end up in Joburg. Mm. So I'm like, whenever you're in Joburg, holla at me, let's see what we can do. He's like, oh, I'm coming to Joburg tomorrow. Let's link up there. And I'm like, oh, damn. So I call Mac. I'm like, yo, my nigga. <laughs> Holla at all the niggas you know. <laughs> we gotta go link up with this nigga now. So, yeah. mm. and also for me, it was just a thing of it's better to link up with people like that in person because, you know, over the phone, there's so many people hitting up Buddy trying yeah. to do the same thing I'm doing. But for me, it was like, yo, I'd rather ha him meet the nigga I am yeah. than have to worry about the flame nigga that's on Instagram mm, yeah. with his followers and shit. Like, if he's fucking with me for being me, then we good. Mm -hmm. So I just pulled up on him to just show love, really. And I just wanted to see them perform. Got the chance to see that and he'll perform. It was a great experience. A great day. Yeah. in. I ended up linking up with the rest of the team yeah. just because of that even. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it was a blessing for real. Like, it Did was, you have a team out here? 
No, I mean like the niggas like cars, he was with, like the, the fiends, yeah, the fiends, yeah. the fiends. Yeah. I, yeah, I linked up with everybody y'all. else, yeah. and you know it was yeah. just great. So. And crazy enough, Guap Dad is friends with one of my best friends. Like they best friends, they grew up together, started rapping together. They even live like on the same street. Yeah. So when I put up on him, I'm like, "Yo, nigga, you know this nigga?" He's like, "Yo, nigga, that's my brother." And that's just how me and Guap Dad ended up like now yeah. linking up and. Talking whatever chats we got going I, on. Because when right I was now. standing there, yeah. you blended in so well with them. Yeah, that's why I was like, when I told <laughs> like, I was like, I wasn't even sure. Like, was he him. wasn't sure. <laughs> like, he was like, yo, was that flame? I was like, yeah, that nigga, that's flame. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see it for real, bro. Yeah, like, Damn, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. You were blended. I, mean, I think because one of the homies we were with was trying to get a photo with Saba. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the only um, nigga I didn't try yeah, and get the, close to, yeah, bro. Like, because that guy was, like I'm very, like I said, like I don't like stepping on people. So because also like you know, even if I was as big as AKA out here, bro, those are the niggas that I that shaped, yeah. you know, the music I make today. So yeah. for me to even shake Buddy's hand, I had to fight with this man too many. I was like, yo, my niggas, <laughs> it's safe to go there, like you know what I mean. But he was so, mad like, cool though. Yeah, my, he was I mean, bad. he is, but for me, like I'm just like a very shy nigga. Yeah. So for me to even approach you, bro, like I have to work my my ass off yeah. and be like, okay, let's let's get bro, to this shit. So, I forget w- w- what the DJ's name is. He's also mad cool. Uh, YG's DJ. He was out here too. Uh, fuck, I forgot. I also I forgot, forgot his YG's name. DJ was yeah, out here. He yeah. was out here too. He was Damn. Here. <laughs> That's crazy, it's crazy, but it's cool. Yeah, yeah it's you know. cool. Yeah. Did you not come to the after party? Nah, he wasn't. Nah, there. what he happened was, was so yeah. me and Buddy had different plans that day. Oh. Well, our plan was we're gonna link up with Daisies, see if we can set up a studio session after that. Yeah, and then I go do my show later on. So I also wanted to bring him out at Zanzu just so he could come and oh. vibe out there and just see what's going on. Yeah. But they had other plans They Like the after party yeah. and shit So I was like Okay our plans mm. are clashing bro yeah. Do your thing Have fun Let me do my thing Whenever we get to link up And do our thing properly It will be perfect timing So for now As long as I got to meet you And you know yeah. Get acquainted to you That's more than enough for me bro mm. That's dope yeah. man That's fine My two last questions right No problem so It's like I wanted to ask Because you brought it up So many times And I think that It had some sort of impact I guess you know um, your time in Namibia, how, mm-hmm. how significant was was that time? Oh because you brought it up, <laughs> and why was it? Why Namibia? I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm missing something there. Uh, so first time I went to Namibia, we were making we had made this song for this other dude called Stanzo, mm. and how how I got to even be involved in that whole thing was Liz. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Shout out Liz, There's bro. There's a That's video a, to that song. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. The My Way yeah, Joint. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> so. Liz pulls up on me, yo, my G, I got this song, I need you on the hook. I'm like, all right, cool. Rock this ver- uh, the hook in. I didn't even know Nadia was going to be on the song. I didn't know. No, I, it was just Liz's verse when it got sent to me, and then they sent me back the master. It has everyone on it. And at the time, me and Nadia had like a little awkward situation, but that was just like some personal shit that happened with my ex and her and whatever. I don't know what my ex told her. <laughs> But yeah, now there was this, it was awkward energy between me and her. And then, so I got mad because I'm like, yo, nigga, you didn't tell me we're going to have these people on the song. And number two, I thought this is your song. It's a whole song from a guy in Namibia. So how are we dealing with this? You know what I'm saying? And then it broke everything down to me how it was going to happen. And I was like, okay, cool. Let me not be a fuck nigga. Let me just be chill. Yeah. And let's just write this one out and see how it goes. If if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. Yeah. My brother, we landed in Namibia. First day was fucked up. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> First day was bad. We, we almost got deported that day. Yeah, we didn't have working visas. And now we had already filled in our visa forms and stuff, so they didn't process them in time and shit. Okay. So now we get the... The boys don't give us the full one, uh, full one one that, yo... When you get there, tell them you're here for holiday, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. We tick work and the ladies ask me, what you here for? I'm here to shoot a video, blah, blah, blah. We're going to be doing studio stuff. It's like, what's your visa? I'm like, I don't know. Isn't it supposed <laughs> to be in the system or something? She's like, nah, my nigga, I don't see your visa. So who you came with? I tell everyone I came with. Them niggas were already outside. They're gone, they were yeah. already gone. They had to go get them back. We literally all chilled. First day, we were all in the whole fucking... 
uh, boarding side waiting for the plane, which was coming on Friday, and it's on Monday. <laughs> the next flight out back home is Friday, so we're like, damn. But they worked it out. By the time I touched that sand, bro, it's crazy. It felt like I was home, but <laughs> enhanced. Like, it's literally like here, but on a, on a crazier yeah. level. Yeah. Like, also, I think maybe because I was just having a great time every... Every day, there was no day where I had time to chill, bro. There was no, no time to chill. You wake up 7 in the morning, hit the shower. By 9, you got to be out of the hotel. We're doing something. Dope. That's dope, man. That's dope. So it was it was a great experience. And then I had to go back there. So after the DOA uh, situation, I actually released DOA when I was in the media. Mm. So... Went there, we chilled there for like three weeks, ended up working on some more music. That side, it's just a beautiful place to be, bro. Like, trust me. No. You don't want to, if you trying to make trips anytime yeah. soon, that's one I, I would advise you to have on your list for sure. I hear the same dreams are dope. Shout out to Namibia. Shout yeah. out to Namibia. And then lastly, uh -huh. I know AKA had like high things to say about you, uh -huh. you know? Damn. And I mean, like, how did that uh, join with, with, with my Josie? Yeah, how did that link up, man? I, that's like one of my favorite songs on Boba Mania. It's mm -hmm. actually my favorite song. Here's a crazy, Bob. here's a crazy story. So, Casino was one of the songs that I got after I had another batch of like 15 songs from AKA. So he sent me a batch of songs in 2019. Remember, I, let's not forget, I mentioned there was a laptop that got lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That laptop has those songs in it, oh, bro. damn. <laughs> you feel me? So, it was this one song. I jumped. I was on Holy Water, bro. I was actually on Holy Water. It's on Boba Mania, mm. too. Oh, I was yeah. On, yeah, I had a verse on Holy yeah. Water. I've kept three but... songs from Boba Mania, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to I had a... we, we We had a conversation with him about yeah. Boba Mania, but that song is the best song for me, on. Okay, I feel you. <laughs> you don't agree. For me, for me, it was Holy Water. Maybe because I, I liked it and I jumped on it at Holy first. Holy Water is the joint with KO. He, he, he's oh, alone. Holy he's alone. alone. He's alone. No, that's Holy Mountain that you're singing. Uh, both Holy. <laughs> <laughs> holy so, Mountain is amazing. Yeah. So how we actually got to link up, I don't even know. That nigga got my number from somebody, hits me up. Yo, my nigga, look. We got to tap in. I'm like, say less, my nigga. Why not? Yeah. It's you. I've been trying to... You one of the niggas that every nigga wants to get it in with. So yeah. why not? Sends me this batch. And I remember we're coming back from Bloom in the AMs from a show. So I'm playing all this shit in the car. We're bumping with the boys. And we just like, damn, this nigga going crazy. Bro, trust me. The shit that was on Bova Mania is nothing compared to the shit I had on that laptop, bro. Like... That nigga had, he has so many crazy songs he's not trying to put out. Mm. I don't know why, but. Shout out to AK. Cool. Um, I jump on Holy Water. I jumped on, I think I jumped on two songs. And then uh, I sent it to him. He never got to listen to it, though, because he only listened to it after I sent him back the verse for Casino. Mm. But that was after a young as well. So I remember after that whole 2019 situation, we linked up, I think around December that same year. Uh, he invited me to his house, played me some more records. So in my head, I'm there to go play him the verse mm. from Holy Water and the other songs. And as well, if he wants me to jump on anything else, then I'll jump on it. Then he plays Casino. I don't know how I ended up on that song, bro. I really don't. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I ended up on that song. I'm be honest and say, I really don't know. We just were vibing. I was like, oh, damn, this shit is, oh, yeah. <laughs> he played that shit. He, so when he plays it, I'm like, damn, nigga, you back. I don't know if you pay attention to that song. There's a part, like a mumble type of bridge with right? all the time in studio. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas saying that I'm back. He said that because I'm like, yo, yeah. nigga, you back. He's yeah. like, nigga, where do I go, yeah. nigga? It's like, nah, he literally recorded that part and he's like, yo, let's see what we can do to this one. And at first, uh, my Josie's part was actually a sample. It wasn't her singing that part. It was She was, I forgot what song he had sampled. And then 
I recorded a mumble. I didn't even record the hook. I just put a mumble on it. And then he was just like, yo, we need my jersey to make this shit come alive. Mm. Then got her. She recorded her part. Then we linked up again 2020. Uh, we went to Gemini Studio for that. I recorded the whole hook. And then we fought about just one lost bar. The last bar was our biggest fight. I don't know how many times I changed that bar in the studio. The whole night I was just changing <laughs> that <laughs> bar. And this nigga's just like, nah, it's not the one. nah, I'm not here in this bar. I'm like, all right, what do you think about this one? Nah. <laughs> I got to a point where I was like, look, my nigga, my energy is done for the night. Yeah. Let me go home. Let me go, you know, recharge. I'll see if I can get this shit back in and then... I made him chill for a couple of months. Whoa. And then, no cap. <laughs> I made him wait for a couple of months. And then um, the night Red Light District was about to drop, he calls me. He's like, yo, my G, I see you about to drop. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, all right, cool. That means you, you, you're good. I need my song back now. <laughs> I, need that I literally told him one thing. I'm like, look, I'm going to give you one one exception, my G. Just let me do me, please. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I promise you, you're getting this song now. Yeah. He's like, all right, cool. Then I just uh, did my little lost bar, sent the whole uh, song back. He actually fucked with the whole thing. And yeah, I didn't even drop the song. I mean, the, the tape, Midnight. I was passed out. I wake up to him already posting the shit. I'm like, damn, nigga, you done dropped before me. That's crazy. <laughs> I love that but, song. Nah, I fuck too. with that nigga, dog. That's that's a that's a very genuine brood, dog. I fuck with that brood. Like, he always makes sure I'm good when I'm around him. Like, he treats me like his son. I hate it sometimes, but <laughs> he a good nigga. <laughs> yeah. he a, he a very nah, good he a really good nigga. Yeah. We had him yeah. here, man. That guy, <laughs> that guy is amazing, man. Dope. Nah, I beautiful. love that nigga, man. He's a real nigga. That's the one thing about him. So you know if he fucks with you and you know when he ain't fucking with you. Yeah. That's, that's the true. only thing I, I, I like about... Yeah, that's true. what determines if I'm going to be around you as a person or not. Just how you are. Yeah. If you're not real, I'm not even going to try. It's not even it, yeah. Cause I'm not just anybody. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Man, and nah. actually, that that's a bar he came up with. He mm. came up with that line. Yeah, yeah. He he's the one that gave me that line. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's dope. Man. I think the thing that I'm back is all crazy because I always wondered like it's what so random. That? Yeah. 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 Dog, it was, that's what I'm saying. It was random. Yeah. Even how we put the, the song together, it yeah. was just like, okay, we're here. Let's do some. Let's see what we're yeah. doing. Like, yo. I don't know. That nigga also made so many songs in just that night alone. And I'm like, God damn, this nigga's work ethic is yeah. crazy. With me, I'm just different, bro. I don't like finishing songs for the sake of finishing them. Because mm -hmm. I always want you to feel every single word I put in there. Yeah. So if I'm going to work on a lot of songs, then I'm probably making five different hooks on different beats. I'm not finishing none of that. Yeah. Uh, just so I can make sure the content is strong. Yeah, it just yeah. makes sense. Because a lot of times niggas just finish songs and most of the time when you listen to the song, there's filler bars yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm like, yo, I don't have to have the craziest punchlines, bro. If anything, I don't even think about punchlines and metaphors and none of that. I'm just thinking whatever word is there needs to count. Yeah, dope. No, no, no buzz off. Yeah. Hey, man. With that being said, I think everything that you said counts today, man. Yeah, I man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Yo, thank yeah. you for coming through. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> All of La Flames lot, music is yeah. on your DSPs, man. Check them out, man. Yeah. Come on, Jermanda. Jermanda. I always wondered how you pronounce that. I was like, I always pronounce it. I want to like, say Jarmanda. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I used to say Jarmanda because it reminded me of the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I thought yeah. it was named after the Pokemon. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. like which Pokemon? Yeah. 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 Flames the Pokemon. <laughs> Flames the Pokemon. You yeah, know, he I'm keeps evolving. You know, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, sir ski, yeah, man. But, uh, Thank you for pulling up, bro. Appreciate thank you. Thank you very man. much yeah. for having Thank me, man. you so much, bro. Yes, oh, by the way, before you shout, uh, a fan of yours says, please shout him out. Le uh, that's his name. Oh, that's my Vito. Shout out, oh, yeah. 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 You got a double here. Yeah. Uh, you got a shout out from Flames. Name, so, yeah. Your name is Lesilko, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Damn, yeah. shout out to her yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my big sister. Yeah. Shout out to the big sis. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shout out to all the Lesseros. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the Lesseros. You know, Lesero Maputa, my friend as well. Shout out to him. Like, shout out to Lesero, your sister. Shout out to you, Lesero. Appreciate you, Shout man. out to... <laughs> You who met Lesero, who <laughs> met Kitsu at the barber shop. Yeah, at the barber shop. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to yeah, you. Make, out, sure you yeah. make sure you stream yeah. the the whole thing, man. Don't 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 play us. You see, we're giving you shout outs. Yeah, yeah. 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 The whole thing. when this thing comes out, yeah. Yeah. share the link, bro. Yeah, shout out yeah. to the sales assistant at NBA so store in Santon. Yeah. I know the whole movie. Yeah. You know what I mean, he got love for <laughs> us. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Swaziland. You know, shout we had a homie from there. Yeah, shout out to the homie from Swaziland. Yeah, yeah. I saw your DM, I'll hit you back up. Um, <laughs> if you made it this far, drop a flame in the comments. Yeah, yeah. drop a flame in the comments. Flame so for we flame. Know, so we know it's real, man. You know um, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, shout out to the young homies as well from last night. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the young homies from I last night. I forgot their names, man. Yeah. Shout out to you niggas. From Good from, Morning with that's from last night. From North and KZN. That's all I can remember. Yeah. If you're from North and KZN, we spoke last night at Good Morning. Damn. Shout yeah. out to yeah. you, Last man. night at Good Morning. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> but you know, the biggest shout out of them all. Shout out to my moms. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. We out. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, bro. Oh, oh man. Great. This was yeah. real, man. Yeah.